Welcome to everyone. Thank you so much for waiting. And as you can tell, I sound different, not only because I've lost my voice, but the microphone doesn't even work. So this actual, what the, even the, this is even playing. This has been an absolute disaster, to be honest. And I wasn't even going to stream originally, uh, but I wanted to do my best because obviously this is the only place where you can see a UCL Fantasy deadline stream. And I wanted to bring you my Limitless team and explain my picks and try to go for as many questions and comments as possible. But yeah, I mean, I could actually deal just about with the lost voice, but now the microphone isn't working and I have no idea why. And I did test earlier just in case. So I literally have no idea. Hopefully it's not too bad and you can understand me. Uh, but let me know. I think it is too low. I was actually testing it quite a lot of times just now, trying different solutions and unfortunately just didn't really work. And um, hopefully my UCL Fantasy team, I can find solutions to it with this Limitless team and then potentially wildcarding in match day three. Of course, I'll be talking about that as we get closer. And apologies if I'm not able to kind of go through all the comments as quickly as usual because I'm probably gonna have to take breaks in between. Like I said, my voice is literally gone. I'm hanging on by the skin of my teeth. Um, so hopefully it's not too bad, but yeah, the microphone is now the thing that's bothering me the most. But thank you so much for everyone who's been very patient. And of course, you know, UCL Fantasy at this moment in time is probably, you know, I'd say as popular as, as it's ever been. So thank you very much to everyone. I'll try to go for all your questions. Um, Kante got COVID-19, he won't play. Yeah, that's something that it just came out of the blue, it seems. Um, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. But either way, he's not really someone you'd want to think about. And Chelsea do rotate a lot with their midfielders. Uh, let me try get through these and um, see what's happening. Are you using any chips for match day two? Yeah, I'm going to be using my limitless. That's why this team, I mean, it's unattainable really with a normal uh, squad. I would have done maybe two free transfers and got in Lewandowski and Rossillon, as I talked about in my team selection, but I just felt like I needed to limitless um, with the injuries. And Haaland, look, he could play, but I think it's very unlikely. And according to Bild, Royce will make the team, or at least the bench, but Haaland won't make the squad at all. Courtois might not play, yeah, but according to AS and they have inside sources at Real Madrid, Courtois is starting, so I'm willing to take that gamble. And if not, I've got Mark andre to Stegen, but to be honest, I'm not confident in Barcelona. I think Benfica could score in that match. The alternative would be Mendy, and obviously ideally be Neuer, but I really like Sane's form. That's something I've looked at, and he's gotten so many assists and goals recently. Uh, it's good, bro. Are you sure? I mean, because normally, I'm not sure if you can compare it to the normal microphone, but it's normally way better, it's way clearer. I don't know, this seems like there's an echo or something, but obviously, yeah. The audio is fine. Okay, maybe it could be my actual speakers then. Um, thank you very much. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Lukaku, Haller, Benzema, what's your thought on this attacking trio? I'd say on a limitless, I would avoid that, as in I'd avoid Lukaku. But right now, I think that's a really good team for the rest of the group stages, to be honest. And you've got, I'd say... Like you got, I'd say, a medium price forward in Haller, so that's good. You've got Benzema, who's relatively expensive, but not too much. I think it's a nice balance you have there. Uh, Dylan, we can hear your voice. Hope you get well soon. Thank you very much. I'm actually speaking normally right now, um, but I'm just, I don't know, this, I did so many tests with the audio, that's why I was delayed. I would have started at four, actually, despite, you know, everything. Um, so, yeah, Courtois will play. That's a risk. I mean, according to AS, like I said, they say he's going to start. But then you have Marika, they're saying that he isn't. So let's wait and see. Ancelotti did talk about possible rotation in certain positions. But then again, you know, AS uh, or, you know, the, the, I'm not sure you actually say it. But yeah, uh, they're actually reporting that they are going to uh, be playing. So Modric, all these key players. Nabri over Sane. I just think there's a bit less nailed under Nagelsmann. Sane's been playing most of the game, so I'd go for him. Benzema Jovic will play, I think. I just think that with the form he's in, and Real Madrid can easily get away in this group stage with a win here, I just think they should play him, of course. If Benzema doesn't play, that'll be a big blow. And obviously, like, I'm going to be talking about certain things in my team, because Ter Stegen and Mane, for example, they're big talking points here. Like, why do I have them? I'll be discussing that very shortly. Um, is Haaland playing? I don't think so. According to the reports, especially with Bild, they're saying that he's not even going to make the squad the audio is different, but it's fine. Not bad. Yeah, exactly, Nick. I have no idea why. It's the same microphone, and it is connected. Um, and even the audio levels and everything are similar. But when I play it back, um, yeah, there's a problem. And I'm, I'm not sure why. I'll try to resolve that after. But unfortunately, I couldn't do it in time for this. Can Musiala be in the team? Yeah, I think so. And he's a good option long term. But on a limitless, I would rather have Sane. 
Uh, good morning from the US. Any thoughts on Dzeko? He could be really good this game week and same with Lautaro Martinez. But I think if you are using a limitless, I'd just be going for Benzema, Haller, Lewandowski and even Ronaldo. But Dzeko could be a very good differential. Courtois is risky. Yeah, he is. Is Benzema going to play? I believe he will. But of course, I could be wrong about that. And if I am, it will obviously backfire immensely. But um, hopefully at least two of these Real Madrid players I have um, start. How many points do you have? I've got 58, so a really poor start, um, but still very early days. Got 12 match days to go, but I'm uh, not really thinking about it. Have you used wildcard? No, I've used the limitless chip. Uh, maybe Benzema will not start this match. That's possible. Please give me your suggestions. Lukaku or Haller, Herrera or Bruno? For this week specifically, I'd say Haller and Bruno. Uh, long term, though, I think Lukaku is better than Haller. Should I bring in Chelsea defenders because Dybala Morata is injured? Yeah, that's even possible in a limitless. I have considered it, but I still would expect Juventus to possibly score... Um, but to be honest, I am considering actually going for Mendy myself instead of Tostig, and I just trust Chelsea defence that much, even away to Juve. Rudiger, he's a good option, but because I'm on a limitless, I'm trying to target more of these attacking assets, and Ede Militao has a higher chance of a clean sheet, I'd say, but Rudiger's a great option this week, and definitely go for him um, if you back Chelsea for the clean sheet. Benzema is starting. I mean, we don't know this yet, and we're only going to know certain teams, so if we actually go to the fixtures... Yeah, we're only going to know Shakhtar against Inter and Ajax against Besiktas. And I've got two Ajax players now, um, but that's the only thing we're going to know. We're not going to know about Real Madrid on Patil 7 o'clock, which is beyond the deadline. So I think he will start, but I could be wrong about that. So obviously just back your gut with that decision and it can either go for you or not. Uh, Sane or Bruno? Well, I'm going for Sane at this moment in time, but Bruno, I think he can bounce back. He is that type of player to you know make a response, especially after a disappointing moment like the weekend. Uh, but still, I don't think Benzema will play. Raul will have rotations as possible. Um, but I still think it's worth the risk. Um, obviously, if it backfires, then it does. Uh, but I just think if he does start in the end and I'd go without him, I'd probably be kicking myself. How about Halle for Haaland and Sane for Royce? Two very good choices. And to be honest, normal transfers, I'd be making those to replace those players. Yeah, Arnold didn't fly to Porto exactly. That's why I've made several changes compared to my best limitless team. So no Arnold. Uh, there's no Haaland. Of course, they would definitely feature otherwise. I was actually considering Robertson, but I've actually replaced him with Thomas Mounier. Just an easier fixture. And also, Thomas Mounier's attacking returns have been insane. I think that's three games in a row uh, where he's produced an attacking return. Obviously, not the weekend where Dortmund did lose to Borussia Mönchengladbach, but before that, three games in a row with an attacking return. Yeah, maybe Jovic will play, possibly, but uh, I'm probably going to risk it with Benzema. Uh, do you use the Limitless this week? I have. Any reason for playing your limitless too early? I mean, I was talking about this in my video yesterday, or I think it was on Sunday. In terms of chip strategy, I think it's best to play the limitless in match day two or five. If you're playing the wild card in the knockout stages, then you could possibly use the limitless in match days three or four. But I just think you have the opponents. And in terms of my own team situation, I had too many problems, really. Um, that's why I needed to. Eden Hazard, he's a really good choice, actually, on paper. I just don't like his Champions League record. And since he's been at Real Madrid, he's been very inconsistent. Why not Sane or Nabri? I mean, I've got Sane in my team, actually. He's on my bench. He's just, because he's playing on the 29th of September, I've got him there. Uh, but he can easily come on. Otherwise, of course, he'd definitely be starting. I'm doubling up on Atalanta instead of Liverpool. Any force on that, Dylan? That's fair enough. The reason why, personally, I've gone for Mane is his record against Porto. He's got four goals, I think, in five games. He scored a hat-trick against them in a 5-0 victory a few years ago. Of course, that was a long time ago. But even in his last meeting with them I believe he got a goal and an assist and Liverpool have a fantastic record against Porto what I would say though is that Porto have improved a lot since then yeah Haaland is not playing it looks like he is and that's why I'm going to go about him uh, higher Dylan minus four replace Haaland or do limitless it depends on the rest of your team if you're happy with the rest of your team then possibly do a minus four otherwise maybe just limitless or if not wild card wild carding isn't the worst thing in the world but I'd rather use it in match day three I will take Haller to change in the Serie and Lewandowski to change Haaland because of red card and doubt. Fair enough, yeah. What do you think about KDB? He's a great option this week, but then again, you know, he's facing PSG and I would probably rather have these five midfielders I've selected and possibly even Bruno Fernandes, but he's really good. This is your limitless team or no? It is my limitless team. There's a few changes to the video because of the injuries and stuff like that. Camavinga or Valverde? I'd possibly say Valverde, but I'm not too keen on either of them at the moment. Munio Guerrero, I've opted for Thomas Munio. Guerrero is actually a bit of a doubt. Uh, he's kind of touch and go also, I believe. He did train, but there is a possibility he doesn't start. I think Thomas Munio um, should. 
What do you think about the pie? He's actually one of my favourite options this week, especially considering Lukaku has a tough fixture and a lot of these options, you know, they're I'd say they're not as appealing as they tend to be. Obviously, Haaland's out, so the pie could be a fantastic differential. Why not Ronaldo, Lukaku and Bruno? Lukaku faces Juventus, and even if he does score, I just don't see the ceiling being too high. Uh, Bruno Ronaldo, I actually had in my team, but then again, Villarreal are pretty decent. They could keep them at bay. I would possibly want to have one of them, Bruno or Ronaldo. Um, but then again, who do I get rid of? Probably Haller, maybe Sadio Mane. Um, but at this moment in time, I've gone for both of them. Should we go for Inter players today? I think there's no reason why you shouldn't. Handanovic is probably one of the best keepers you can go for, so I'd recommend him. Uh, limitless or wildcard if my team is similar to yours? I'd probably say limitless, um, and then you can wildcard in match day three potentially. Remember, you have unlimited transfers heading into the knockout stages. Benzema might be rested. Indeed, he might be, but um, at the moment, I'm taking the risk on him, and... If we actually look at the predicted lineups, this is a very um, useful, actually, if you go on the Champions League website. So with Borussia Dortmund there, um, they've actually not gone for Haaland, for example, and players like this. But if we check Real Madrid, um, they actually are more confident of Carlo Ancelotti playing his strongest team. So let's check this. And, um, oh, yeah, the lineups are out already for Ajax against Besiktas and Shakhtar against Inter. We'll check that in a second. But let's check Real Madrid against Sheriff. The predicted lineups, of course, this isn't gospel, this could be wrong, um, but it's worth considering nonetheless. So let me try find it. So this is according to AS, um, the news publication from Barcelona, I believe. So they think that Courtois will start in goal and the defence will be Nacho, Alaba, Militao and Lucas Vasquez. And then the midfield will comprise of Gamav Camavinga, Casemiro and Modric. And the attackers would be Vinicius, Benzema and Hazard. The kind of only doubt they really have is whether it's going to be Hazard or Asensio starting. Um, so that's a bit of a headache there for Carlo Ancelotti. But the rest, it seems pretty, they seem pretty confident of Benzema, Militao and Courtois starting. So of course, they could be wrong, I could be wrong, um, but I'm willing to take the gamble in my opinion. Uh, tu equipo estás bloqueado o harás cambios? Um, puede ser que habrá un cambio o dos, pero creo que voy a... Casi la mitad, diría que 90% del equipo ya está, pero el otro 10% voy a ver, pero no sé. Um, Sadio Mane puede ir por Bruno Fernández y Haller para Ronaldo, pero no sé. Los otros, Ter Stegen a Mendy, uh, lo demás estoy bastante contento con eso. Um, Handanovic, I think he's a great option this week, but um, I would rather have Couture, especially if he does start. Show your final team. This is my final team at the moment, of course, and I'll... Uh, show you my final team regardless even if I cut the stream early um, and I put up you know my final team on Twitter and YouTube but what I would say is don't copy the team you know there's there's no point I literally got 58 points in match day one so it just shows you that not everyone is guaranteed to you know always do well and even if you copy you know the last year's winner there's no guarantee they'll do well this season Fabinho or Jorginho I would rather have Jorginho but they're both good why not Trent he didn't travel with the squad so it looks like he's going to be missing out and he should be back for game week seven in FPL. Haaland, it looks like he's going to miss out. Alaba or Militao, I'd rather have Militao because of ball recoveries. Is Hummels and Haaland injured? I think Hummels is fine, but Haaland looks like he's going to be out. Replacements for Haaland, I think Lewandowski, uh, if you don't have him already for sure, he'd be a no-brainer. Otherwise, I'd be looking at Benzema or Haller. I think uh, Benzema would probably be my favourite out of him and Haller. Benzema or Jovic, I'd rather have uh, Benzema. Yeah, I've used the limitless chip I had Ronaldo, but changed for Haller. Still deciding who to go for. Exactly the same, uh, Ricardo. Best time for Limitless, two or three? I think two, um, if you're looking to wildcard as well in the group stages. I'd Limitless now, or in game week five, and then use the wildcard in match day three. Wouldn't you rather Tadic Haller? I think that Haller was a fluke, and Tadic is more consistent, potentially. Tadic is... I'd say, yeah, very consistent across the years for Ajax. And to be honest, Ajax have so many sources of goals, but... I don't know, I'm still at the moment going for Haller, but I actually might change it to Ronaldo in the end, uh, if I'm being honest. What about Royce? It looks like he could make the bench today, and if he is fully fit, he'll be in the starting lineup. Um, but I just think it's a risk, so I'm going for Bellingham instead. Is Trent not playing? He hasn't travelled with the squad. I'm late. Are you using Limitless or Wildcard? This is a Limitless team. I think I'd be 15, 16 million over budget otherwise. Bring in Chelsea defence because of Murat and Dybala injuries potentially, and actually, I'm going to show you this now. I am thinking of moving to Stegen, even though his fixture on paper is better than Mendy's, but uh, I think I'm going to go for the Chelsea goalkeeper 
instead just because of how good Chelsea's defence are. And if Courtois starts anyway, I probably don't need to bring him on uh, regardless. So yeah, let's bring on Mendy. And there we go. I think I'm going to go for him instead. One thing about this team I would say actually is that I don't have too many players playing tomorrow. Most of them are from today. So today is literally a make or break, I'd say. Maybe in the season because I'm using my limitless chip. And if it doesn't go right, uh, today could be, you know, it could massively backfire. And uh, hopefully I don't have the same luck as I've had with my voice or the microphone. But um, yeah, hopefully the team is much better. And uh, yeah, it does pretty well. Best 4.5 million defender. I still think Diego Carlos is a really good one. But I'd probably say Mazzauri because of the attacking returns. He's got 7 and 9 this season. Um, so I'd probably go for him. Uh, Dzeko, good choice once again. But uh, I'd rather have Haller, maybe even Dusan Tadic, Benzema, Lewandowski, Ronaldo, etc. Hey, bro, I know it's UCL Fantasy, but... FPL Alonso or Rudiger. I'd say short term Alonso, especially if you're wildcarding soon. Otherwise, for the long term, Rudiger's better. Good afternoon, everyone, by the way. Thank you, Flying Dutchman, for tuning in. And by the way, you are a moderator now of the chat. Obviously, I do trust you. Uh, same with Kobe as well. Uh, thoughts on Gossens, uh, says Kobe. Well, he's a really good option. I've got him here. I think because of his attacking potential, he's actually scored since the last Champions League game and the advanced positions he gets into and the fixture. I think he's a great option this week. Why Bellingham? I just think that everything through Dortmund goes through him. If Haaland was fit, I probably would have just gone for Bruno Fernandes instead of Bellingham or something like that and gone for Haaland instead of Haller. Uh, but because Haaland is out and I like the fixture anyway, I'm going for Bellingham. Will Haaland play? I don't think he will, uh, at least according to the rumours. Do you think Nkuku is a good captain? I think so. And actually, not only did he score a hat-trick, obviously, against Manchester City, but at the weekend, he scored twice for Leipzig. So he's in nice form. He also got an assist. Um, so he's showing some promise. Will Messi play? It looks like he will. And um, yeah, that should be a very interesting game. Uh, by the way, the picture is blurry. Yeah, thank you for that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Even the audio is not anywhere near as crisp as it usually is. And someone literally asked me the other day, you know, what microphone do you use? It's really good. And it seems to have been uh, jinxed. Um, no problem, the Flying Dutchman. Courtois won't play. Well, according to AS, like I was talking about earlier, they said he will. So it's just really, I have to wait and see at 7 o'clock. Pavard or Rudiger? I'd just rather have Kimmich. Um, obviously, if you're looking at one of them for the rest of the group stages, just go for Rudiger. Haaland not starting. It looks like he's not even going to be in the squad. Of course, that could be wrong. Uh, yeah, Haaland isn't playing, I think. Lewandowski or Haller? Definitely Lewandowski, no doubt about it. Picture and audio are fine, in my opinion. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure someone talked about earlier, I think it was Nick, the audio sounds different to what it usually is. If you play my previous videos and live streams, the audio is way better. So something has happened to the audio interface, unfortunately. Uh, is Haaland going to play? I don't think so, of course. You know, don't hold my word to it. I'm just talking about the rumours that I've been seeing and the news, but I think he isn't going to be playing. My good Dumfries captain as a punt. Fair enough. He was very good in Euro fantasy football, but I just, I'm not too sure about that. I would rather have Gossens and, you know, all of these other kind of attacking fullbacks like Thomas Mounier in UCL fantasy. Are you using your limitless this week? I am Aranya. Thank you for the mod, Dylan. Preparing for an important interview, so good luck with the stream. Thank you, Lepok. I mean, I'm literally trying my absolute best. My voice is absolutely gone. And after this, I probably have to take some more medication and stuff. I, I'm literally gone. But thank you very much, mate. Uh, Force on Jekyll, good option, like I said. But if you're on a limitless, I'd look at these three options, for example, instead. Or maybe even Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, Dusan Tadic. Why not Trent? He hasn't travelled with the squad. Um, so, yeah. Lewandowski, a better captain than Benzema. Remember, you can captain one player from each day. Benzema plays today, so you can captain him. And then tomorrow, you can captain Lewandowski. If you're asking me who do you think is a better captain, definitely Lewandowski. But um, yeah, you can captain both of them. What do you think about Casemiro? I have him in my normal team. He's a good option for ball recoveries. Might get you an assist or a goal here and there, but um, it's mainly about the ball recoveries. Davis over Kimmich? I would rather have Kimmich, to be honest. I don't understand Limitless. Do you make any uh, your transfers first and then activate or other way around? To be honest... Um, I think either way works. So if you just do all the transfers and then you play the limitless, it cancels out all the hits you've taken. Um, so it doesn't matter really. Um, I played it and then I um, did the transfers, to be honest. Any good Haaland replacements? Lewandowski for sure if you don't have them already. And then otherwise Benzema. Yeah, uh, as for the person who keeps asking why not Trent, I've already talked about this. He hasn't travelled with the squad, so there's no point. He's not going to be playing. That's why I haven't gone for him. Otherwise, he would be in my squad. Will Walker start? I believe so. Also, Cancelo at left-back. If not, it'll be Sinchenko filling in. Is Nabry going to start? That's a more difficult question. Bayern have been rotating a lot with their wingers, 
Sane seems to be the most nailed, but I think Nabry will start. Haller captain today, I see no reason why not. What I would say, though, is that I think Ajax have scored so many goals in the last two games, maybe eight goals, and Haller didn't score a single one. He only got one assist across those eight goals, uh, but still, he's a good choice. Munier or Guerrero? Munier for me. What about Davis? Good option. You know, go for him if you feel like it, but I just rather would have Joshua Kimmich, uh, who's also got three goals in the Bundesliga so far this season. <laughs> freakish Omaris. There's always that um, autocorrect with Grealish and it causing freakish. I don't know. In Champions League fantasy, I'd probably say Mares, but he's more of a rotation risk. Vinicius instead of Haller, he's a good option. He's been very good this season, but I'd just rather have Karim Benzema. Uh, yes, I've activated the limitless chip, mate. Uh, Mane or Barella? Mane for me. Is Munir not injured? I read in a Norwegian newspaper. Um, Guerrero was the attacking fullback who was under doubt in terms of injury. Thomas Munir should be fine, um, to be honest. And if you check the predicted lineups and stuff, uh, he is in them, and Marco Rose didn't mention him in the press conference. He was talking about Marco Royce, um, Julian Brandt, and Erling Haaland. Nabri or Sane? Nabri, um, Sane for me. Normally I'd say Nabri, but Sane's been very good. Um, what about Nabri? Yeah, once again, good option, but I'd rather have Sane. Dylan Force on Ronaldo for Halle? To be honest, I mean, yeah, I am considering it. I think United have a tougher fixture. But um, I am considering getting Ronaldo in for Haller. I might actually do that in the end, but I'm pretty keen on the Ajax defender. In Kunku on Benzema for captaincy, I'd go for Benzema instead. But I'm actually tempted by Sadio Mane or Salah. What about Alfonso Davis? Once again, good option, but I'd rather have Kimmich. And I want Sane and Lewandowski in my team. Is Anthony a good option, replacement of Haller? He's a decent one. He's been looking pretty good. And even uh, Bergweiss. Uh, but I think I'd just rather have Haller or Talic. Yeah, the Ajax starting lineup is out. I'm going to be checking it. Uh, let me refresh the page, actually. And, um, yeah, then I think we'll have the signs. Yeah, oh, by the way, one thing I will say is that this site can be a bit, you know, laggy at times, especially, you know, towards the end of the deadline. So just bear that in mind and uh, see what happens. Haaland out. It looks like he is going to be missing this game. So, yeah, he's just too expensive to have on the bench. Any Chelsea defenders? In my normal team, yes, I've got double. Um, but uh, I'm just happy enough with Mendy as cover. I'm not really too bothered. I'm on a limitless after all. Mane or Mahrez? I'd rather have Mane because of his record against Porto and it's an easier fixture. Uh, but Mahrez is a good choice too. Perisic or Brozovic? I'd go for Perisic. Will Militao start? I believe he will. And if you check the predicted lineups, he is in it. Why not Messi or Mbappe in place of Haller? Because they play Manchester City, who are statistically the best defence in Europe right now. Is Haller playing? It doesn't seem like he is, according to the reports. Um... Who do you take out, Lukaku or Ronaldo? Uh, for this match day specifically, I'd rather take out Lukaku, but I think he is probably a better option than Ronaldo across the whole of the group stages. Mane or Bruno? I'm going for Mane at the moment, but uh, Bruno is a good choice too. Any wan Bissaka replacements? I think Mazzari, if you don't have him already, is a very good one. Why Militao over Alaba? Ball recoveries, really, and he's got some attacking potential from set pieces. Aspi or Alonso? I would rather have Aspi. To be honest, I think, yeah, with the ball recoveries and he's cheaper. Uh, and even on the limitless, I'd probably go for him instead. Can you please explain what the limitless chip is? Um, like, you can obviously see my chip strategy stuff and all my guides before I break down the game completely if you have any questions. But really what the limitless is, is like a free hit from FPL. You can make unlimited transfers. They stick for only one match day. And then in the next match day, after you've played it, your team will revert back to what it was before you played the chip. Um, so it's pretty much a free hit, but with unlimited budget restrictions. So you can get anyone you want, really. You can get Ronaldo, Messi, Mbappe up front. You can get Salah, Hazard, De Bruyne, you know, all these kind of expensive players in your team. Uh, yeah, thank you, Kirby, uh, very much for moderating the chat. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, show us the confirmed lineups. Uh, sure thing, mate, sure thing. Uh, let's go through the lineups. I'll probably use the Champions League site, probably more reliable because I've used Live Score before and they just don't really seem too reliable. So let's see the lineups. Hopefully they have them um, here. So, yeah. Uh, not sure if you can see that properly, to be honest. Um, but Haller, Tadic, Anthony's playing, Alvarez, Bergweiss. Oh, yeah. So it looks like it's going to be Klassen who makes way in the team then. And Gravenberg is there. Uh, Blind, Lissandro Martinez. Timber, I had to check for that, and Mazzari's playing, and then, yeah, the goalkeeper. I mean, they literally have been rotating their goalkeepers. They've had some injury problems recently. 
And uh, yeah, let's look at the opposition team. So Batshuayi does start for Besiktas, but honestly, I'm not really interested in their assets. Uh, but with Ajax, yeah, pretty much all of our main players start. Um, so that's pretty good. Halo or Benzema? Benzema for me, to be honest. Halo Ronaldo? That's a tough one, to be honest. Um, I won't be even saying Halo, even though I have him, because I actually might switch him to Ronaldo in the end. Tadic or Anthony? I'd go for Tadic. What about Rudiger? Great option. You can still go for him. And... I just, I'd just i rather have these defenders because of their fixtures and attacking potential. Dumfries will play. Yeah, um, the lineups are out. What about Trent Alexander-Arnold? He's out, as in he's not travelled with the squad. Um, yeah, there's no need to spam the chat, um, Aditya. But yeah, why not Cancelo? Just because of the fixture, really. Of course, he can get ball recoveries, maybe an attack in return. But it just seems less likely than these defenders I have. Of course, you know, if you still back him, then go for it. But he is facing Messi, Neymar and Mbappe, after all. Lewandowski or Nkuku, who will bring more points? Lewandowski for sure, but remember, you can have different captains. Should I go for Handanovic from Inter? If you want a cheap goalkeeper for this match day, then I'd say yeah. Big fan, mate, just wanted your thoughts. The Pi Ronaldo, I am on a limitless. I'd rather go for Ronaldo probably, but the Pi is a really good, in interesting option, to be honest. Ronaldo or Haller, once again, you know, this is something I'm thinking about myself, and I might actually be ending up going for Ronaldo, to be honest. Let's wait and see. Musiala or Bellingham? I'm thinking Musiala. That could be an interesting choice. Um, the reason why I've gone for Bellingham is because I've got Sane and Triple Up Bayern already, but Musiala is a good option and uh, possibly for match day two is a better option too. Yeah. Benzema is my captain. Yep, he is my captain too. Obviously, some people think he might not start. That is a possibility. Why not Malinovsky? Honestly, because I'm on a limitless chip and all of these players I've got are in really good form, maybe with the exception of Mane, but he's got a great record against Porto and he's a fantastic differential so I want to take a pun on him and there's also others like Bruno Fernandes ahead in the pecking order Handanovic or Alisson probably Handanovic but they're both good best 5 million defender I already have Bayern defence Aspilicueta maybe not this match day specifically um, but yeah otherwise maybe Mazzari he's a, a good one too and Akanji I like Akanji or Thomas Munier. I think actually Thomas Munier for match day 2 specifically probably my uh, choice there for some Brahim Diaz, he's actually good. He's someone I'm looking at on a wild card in match day three, but not yet. And he does have a tough group. Uh, Lewandowski or Benzema's captain. Once again, I, I want to make this clear for everyone watching. You can change the captaincy. Um, so, for example, Benzema plays today, so you can captain him. And if he blanks or doesn't do too well, you can captain Lewandowski tomorrow. And then the double points you get from Benzema are eradicated once you change the captaincy. So you can have two captains. You don't have to ask, you know, do I captain Benzema or Lewandowski? You can captain both of them, really. Um, obviously one in the end sticks and it's the one you have by the end of the match day Trent once again he's not travelled with the squad um, so yeah he's not in my team otherwise he would be probably Captain Halle or Benzema I'd probably say Benzema yo don't be fooled by Halle's performance in game week one if on limitless you've got to go for Mr Champions League Ronaldo yeah I mean once again uh, I've talked about this with Halle he hasn't scored um, even though Ajax have you know, notched eight goals across two games uh, he only got one assist for those eight uh, and obviously I am wary of that but he has been very impressive for Ajax since coming in will Haaland start or not? I don't think so even if he does make the squad I think he'll be on the bench but I might be wrong do you feel that you're risking too much with uh, two Liverpool players? not in my opinion obviously Porto are decent and they're much better than they have been in the past but um, still I, I like Mane and Salah I think I cover Liverpool pretty well with them obviously it'd be very frustrating if Firmino or Jota get the goals instead but you know, I still think I cover most of Liverpool's goals there. And Mane is just my kind of differential. Salah's a bit of a shield pick, and I just trust him so much. Barella starting good option this week. I think he is, but I just think there might be better options like Musiala and Bellingham around his prize. But he is still good. Van Dijk instead of Militao. I was considering Robertson, actually. And, yeah, Van Dijk's another really good one with ball recoveries. But I think I'd rather have Militao. Obviously, he might be a bit of a rotation risk, but still... De Bruyne, great option, but maybe not specifically for match day two. He is facing PSG after all. Bruno Ronaldo, I don't want to double up against Unai Terrorism. Wow, that's a bit rude. Um, I don't know. I'd rather have Ronaldo at this moment in time, considering his form, and Bruno, despite his creativity, still thriving. I'm just not too sure about him at this moment in time. Uh, Thomas Munoz on the bench. Just check Dortmund lineup. Um, yeah, I mean, the Dortmund lineup, though, is out at 7 o'clock. We won't know. Um, unless there's been a league lineup or something. But um, yeah, I think Thomas Munier should be playing. Uh, welcome, Dean. Munier or Guerrero? Once again, Juliano, I'd say Munier for me. That's why I've gone for him. Uh, Mane, alternatives. Bruno Fernandes, if you want. And also some of these other options that are cheaper, like Musiala. And 
to be honest, you know, there's still Perisic I talked about in my limitless team or Kalanoglu. They're still good choices, to be honest. And Nabry himself, but I'd probably rather go for Sane instead. And also Eden Hazard if you back him to start. Uh, best midfielder under 9.5 for today. Uh, Leroy Sane for me is probably one of the standouts. Um, really? I can't see the defenders in your team. My defenders are Eden Militao, Thomas Munier, Mazzari, and yeah, Gossens and Joshua Kimmich. Uh, let me try see if I can fix this uh, for you lot on stream. Um, tell me if it seems clearer now. Um, probably to do with my laptop's resolution anyway. Um, so that's just a consistent issue. Tell me if that's clearer for you. Um, and yeah, I might actually you know adjust it accordingly on the screen. You'll see the magic unfold before your eyes. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Oh no, what's happening here? What's happening here? Let's let's go for the something like that. Mm. Yeah. Well, that that will do. I guess that will do. That'll do. That'll do for now. Uh, let me know if that is clearer. Hopefully you can see the team, but I might make a late change or two. Courtois will play, I believe so, Ali, but once again, it's not completely confirmed. Henderson versus Gundogan. Gundogan's an injury doubt, and he faces PSG. I probably wouldn't want either of them, to be honest, but maybe for match day two, Henderson. Robertson over Munier, I have considered it, but um, I just prefer Munier's fixture and his attacking potential at the moment. Anyone from Barcelona, maybe to Stegen, Depay. I think could be really good. And by the way, with Tostegan, I only would consider that on Limitless. The pie is probably my favourite option. Uh, why have you gone Benzema captain? Why not Lewandowski? Once again, Dean, um, you can captain people from different days. So Benzema plays today, so I'm going for him. I could also go for Mane or Salah. From those tomorrow, Lewandowski's a no-brainer, and I'll switch the captaincy to him if needed. Jorginho or Casemiro? It's a very tough one, to be honest. I'd probably rather go for... Casemiro, um, at least in match day two. Why Munio over Robertson? Um, is there any doubt that Munio will play? I don't think there is a doubt. Obviously, Paslak could play instead, but I think Munio will be the one. Uh, Baku plays on the wing for Wolfsburg and is listed as a defender, by the way. That's true. Uh, there's just too many options, really. Um, even defensive, you know, kind of really attacking fullbacks. But, yeah, you know, you just can't, can't have everyone. What about David Alaba? I'd rather have Militao, to be honest, because of ball recoveries. It was fine before, but it's better now. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Um, news on Haaland and Royce. Uh, yeah, Royce could make the bench today. Possibly the lineup if he's fully fit. And it looks like Haaland isn't even going to make the squad at all. Have the same problem, forced to use my limitless. Yeah, but I always had in mind, you know, to use in match day two or five, maybe even three or four. I talked about all of this in my limitless team video the other day as well. Yeah, there's no need for people to, you know, repeat the same question. Obviously, I'll try to get for as many as possible. Captain Salah or Haller? I'd probably be a bit more inclined to Captain Salah. I don't know. I just have too much faith in him, to be honest. Uh, just a reminder not to spam the chat with the same question over and over again. Exactly, the Flying Dutchman. There's no need. Um, Liverpool or Real Madrid defender? I hope you don't pick Militao just for points. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Nah, it's because of the ball recoveries and also the fixture. I really like that about him. And he also, I've seen him in the Copa America for Brazil and for Real Madrid. He's got a bit of attacking threat from set pieces. That's why I've really gone for him. And um, I really back Real Madrid for the clean sheet here. But of course, you know, I have had Robertson actually in one of my limitless drafts um, today, actually. But um, I don't know if I'm going to go for him in the end. I've already got enough cover with Mane and Salah, I believe. Uh, Coutinho or Neuer? Neuer's obviously more of a safe pick because there's no kind of doubts about Neuer starting or not, there is with Couture. But you can always triple up with Bayern with Sane, Kimmich, maybe Alfonso Davis, all these other options, Lewandowski. Um, but I'd say Couture. Hakimi or Kimmich? Kimmich for me for sure, there's no doubt about it. Bruno or Mane? I'm going for Mane at the moment, it might be very risky. But if Ronaldo hadn't joined United and Bruno was still the talisman for United, I'd definitely go for him over Sadio Mane. Lautaro Martinez or Haller? Lautaro Martinez is a very good option, to be honest, um, especially this week against Shakhtar Donetsk. I'd probably still say Haller, but they're both good. Why Mendy Chelsea match wouldn't be tough? It is a tough match, but I'm looking at the options on the second day. I'm not really too convinced. Chelsea are one of the teams I confide in the most defensively. And also, Juventus are without Morata and Dybala. So I think Chelsea can keep a clean sheet, and I am backing Couture to start and get the clean sheet regardless. Why Militao? Clean sheet. I think that is really likely. Against Sheriff, he's got attacking potential and ball recoveries in his locker. Halle or Lautaro or Dzeko? 
Probably Haller, but Lautaro is a very interesting option too, and same with Dzeko, to be honest. Some rumours that Benzema and Couture will be on the bench. There are, but once again, I've looked at the predicted lineups, especially from AS, who have got some reliable sources within Real Madrid. They expect both of them to be starting. Uh, Benzema will play or not? I think he will, but of course I could be wrong. Why, Mendy, uh, I've answered that. Um, no need to spam the chat. What about Oblak? I think he's way too expensive and he's got a tough fixture in AC Milan. I would rather have Couture, Manuel Neuer, even Mendy probably to Stegen because of the fixture. Uh, best 4.5 million defender. Once again, I'd probably say Mazzari. And best 5 million midfielder. Not too sure. I'd have to have a double check. But yeah, I'm not really too kind of enthralled by the options there. Um, Barrios, obviously, he's actually fit. Even though he was flagged for match day one, he's decent. Uh, Perisic, benched. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, a lot of people, um, obviously, he tends to start for them. But yeah, I mean, there you go. Trent isn't injured. He isn't injured, but he's ill. Or he was ill. He's recovering from it. He should be back for match day seven in FPR. What do you think about Mbappe? I don't know. I just I don't rate his chances too much against City, but of course he can cause them problems, especially if they play a high line. Benzema Muller, Benzema for me. What do you think about Rakitic? He's actually quite an underrated option. He's pretty decent. He's got a good group. Uh, Gundogan, he's an injury doubt, and I'm just not really fancying him at the moment. Is Bentancur a good pick? Not in my opinion. Munio Guerrero, Munier. Do you think Benzema's going to start? I think he will. That's why I've got him. Haller or Ronaldo? I think United have a tough matchup. Yeah, I know. And that's why I've gone for Haller at the moment. But Ronaldo is Ronaldo, you know. And um, him and Messi have got the best Champions League record. So it's tough to say someone else. Replacement for Mane, once again, Bruno Fernandes is a good choice. There's Nabri. You can always go for one of the cheaper options like Musiala. Um, you don't have to go for Mane uh, himself. Pedri, a shout. Not for me, to be honest. Why don't you have Kimmich in the starting eleven? Because he plays tomorrow. And you don't want players who play today on your bench. Otherwise, you can't manually substitute them on. If you're unclear about substitutions or captains, watch my guides, especially the how to play tutorial and the first draft where I explain the captaincy and the substitutions. Yeah, Perisic benched. Halle or Ronaldo? At the moment, I'm going for Halle, but I might actually switch to Ronaldo. What about Casemiro? Very good option for ball recoveries, but he's not going to offer you too much else, of course. I'm on limit Limitless, so I'm not going to go for him. Who would you choose instead of Mane? Yeah, once again, probably Bruno Fernandes and... Yeah, probably Bruno, actually. I'm trying to think of someone else. Hazard, if I wanted a cheeky punt. But yeah, probably one of those two. Dumfries or Mazzari? Mazzari for me. Benzema tweeted ready for tomorrow yesterday. Oh yeah, thank you for that, Jacob. I actually didn't see that. Um, that that's interesting. And also, Eda Militao was um, in some of Real Madrid's Twitter posts. But obviously, that doesn't mean anything, really. But maybe it does. Gossens or Mounier? Both very similar. I'd probably say Gossens on a limitless, but they're both really good. Mounier's looking very exceptional at the moment. Davis or Kimmich? Can't decide between them. For me, it's Kimmich. He plays out of position. He plays in midfield. And he's got three goals this season. And he just has so many more avenues to points, more ball recoveries. Have you mentioned anything about Dumfries yet? He's starting. I have actually, um, at least in response to someone who uh, talked about him before, he was really good in Euro 2020 fantasy football. But I'm not too sure if he's going to get as many points as he did in that. Of course, he still can. And I could see him maybe getting a big haul today. Um, but I've got more confidence in the defenders I've selected and even Robertson and others that I nearly uh, went with. Will Haaland play today? I don't think he will. KDB, great option, but he plays PSG. Can you make subs while your players are playing? You can make them during the substitution window after the games today are done. And then you have this substitution window. Let me show you, for example, very quickly. Here, you've got the transfer deadline. If you scroll down a little bit more, here you go, substitution window. And it basically ends before the matches tomorrow start. So you've got plenty of time to make substitutions and... Unless they get sent off, you should be fine and you should be able to, you know, just make some substitutions. Virgil, great option, to be honest. I just think that Porto could score a goal. Um, so I'm just going for these defenders instead. They are saying that Couture won't play. Lunin to start, posted by Madrid Extra. Madrid Extra are like City Extra. They obviously accumulate all the information uh, from different sources. Marca were the ones. Uh, they're a Madrid-based newspaper. They said that Couture won't play. But then you have AS, who apparently have more reliable sources within the club. They say that Courtois will start. So it's really difficult to say. And Courtois, at the moment, is one of the best keepers in the world. So it's difficult. Should we use Limitless today? If your team is in a difficult situation, I probably would recommend using Limitless. If you are making defensive statements about team formations, please try to cite your source. Uh, yeah, I would say the same thing, to be honest. De Bruyne or Mares? I'd rather go for De Bruyne, but both good. Uh, best midfield under seven? I already have Musiala and Bellingham. Well, that's a good... Um, 
that's a good uh, conundrum you offer there. Let me try, let me actually get some on screen uh, for you and refresh my memory. Um, but yeah, I've literally been looking up some of the more pricey players naturally because I'm on a limitless chip. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Malyovsky should be similar price to that. He, he could be someone to look at. So let's see, price up to 7 million. Let's see. Mm, yeah, no, I wouldn't be going for Jordan Henderson. But um, yeah, yeah, Benton Core, fair enough. I can see why someone mentioned him. Condogbia gets a lot of ball recoveries, he's got nine. Um, so for anyone who's looking for a five million that people were asking before, he's decent. Um, and he's been actually really good. He got man of the match points in match day one. Rakitic is decent, not too bad. Other than that, I mean, I'd have to be looking further down the list, really. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's not too easy, to be honest. You're mainly looking at ball recovery um, players like Casemiro and Jorginho, who, to be fair, are still good options. But yeah, I'm probably good for one of those that I said before, uh, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not really too impressed with these further down the line. Of course, they can come good. And everyone has kind of one really good week at some point. But yeah, I mean, not really too... Yeah, Everton could be all right. But yeah, no, I probably wouldn't be looking at most of these, to be honest. Is this your team? Yes, at the moment it is. I might change Halle for Ronaldo. It's a limitless team. Mane isn't starting. Well, we don't know that yet, to be honest, because, uh, yeah, Liverpool do play later on. Will Haaland play today? It doesn't look like he will. Best free midfielders for Limitless? I'd say Salah, if not Mane, Leroy Sane, and maybe Bellingham. I think those would be my top three. Do you think Munier will play? I think he will. And, of course, it's a bit risky. It could be pass lack, but I just think Munier's form is very difficult to bench him. Alisson or Courtois, Courtois for me, but of course he has a bit of a doubt. Roussillon, yep, good choice, but I'm just going for more attacking players at the moment. I'm going, obviously, for a limitless chip, uh, but Roussillon would be in my normal team. He does face Sevilla, though. Will Robertson be on all set pieces without Trent? That's a good um, question, actually. I think Salah could take some, like corners, for example, uh, but yeah, Robertson should take the majority now. But that's a really good question. In your opinion, is it worth to take Hakimi over Marquinhos because of his attacking potential? It's something to consider, but Marquinhos has plenty of attacking potential himself. I'd rather go for him instead. Should I replace Haaland? And if so, for who? Either Benzema or Lewandowski. If you don't have a Lewandowski already, go for him if you can afford it. Mount is out and Kante has tested positive for COVID. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much, the Flying Dutchman. And um, yeah, Mount is still injured from before, to be honest. Simicast will start over Robertson. Potentially, but it's a tough game uh, for Liverpool. Um, if they play the main team, then they could score two or three past Porto, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just think that they should play Robertson. Uh, bro, should I wildcard or use limitless chip? It depends on your team situation. I'd probably say limitless and then wildcard in match day three. Force on Salah captain, I think he's always a good captaincy shout. There's nothing wrong with going for him, to be honest. Why Mendy this week? What about the Zenit goalkeeper? Yeah, he's also a good choice. I just trust Chelsea's defence and also they're facing a Juventus side who are struggling and they're without Dybala and Morata right now. No Bruno midfield, not at the moment. I might go for him instead of Mane or someone else, but um, I'm actually just got a good feeling about Mane. I could be wrong. Is the limitless match day too very early? Um, I don't think it's necessarily too early. Maybe in terms of not having enough data and stuff to analyse, then to you know make more informed decisions, that's probably the kind of only early part. But I think match day two or five tends to be the best time to limitless, especially if you're wildcarding in match day three. Uh, how is um, the free transfers work? Yeah, you got two two free transfers before each match day in the group stages. And the limitless is like a free hit from FPL. You can make unlimited changes for one week only and you have no budget restrictions. So you can get anyone you want really, regardless of price. And then your team in the next week reverts back to how it was before you activated the chip. Royce or Bellingham? I'd say Bellingham because Royce is a bit of a doubt. Went for Laudaro, it could be good. Angelo will start with substitutes. He could make a few changes here or there, but obviously we just don't know yet. Benzema, I think is a great choice, obviously. If he starts, it is a bit of a risk, but I'm willing to take it. Mane or Bruno, I'm going for Mane at the moment. It could be a bit risky. Porto are a decent team, but so are Villarreal, to be fair. I also have 11 million to replace Haaland. Who should I pick? I already have Benzema. You could go for Sebastian Haller. Maybe good for match day two. I'm not sure about match days three and four, uh, but he could be good for this week. And also Memphis Depay. Haaland to play? I don't think so. Uh, Rodri, Kamavinga or other 5.5 million midfielder? 
You could go for Kondogbia instead. I was talking about him in terms of ball recoveries. Um, but honestly, yeah, out of those you mentioned, maybe Fabinho uh, instead. No Kante, Pulisic, Mount or James tomorrow, yep. Mane or KDB already on Mahrez? I'd go for Mane, especially if you already have Mahrez. Um, yeah, Mane over KDB, you've got Mahrez already. So if I limit this, my regular transfers won't carry on to the following match day? No, they won't. Um, they'll be cancelled out. Uh, will Bissaka start? He's suspended for a match uh, because of the red card. I don't know why they haven't updated the game and said that. Guerrero or Munier? Munier once again. Rudiger or Van Dijk on Limitless? I'd go for Van Dijk, but Rudiger's a good choice. Asensio Real? The thing is, in terms of predicted lineups, they think Hazard's going to start, but Asensio could actually uh, take his place instead. So who knows, but Asensio could be decent. Is Anthony a good striker? I think he's a decent one, but I'm not too sure, to be honest. How come Anthony Vinicius are classed as forwards and Salah isn't? That's a great question, to be honest. I'm not sure. Um, it's probably because Salah is classified as a midfielder in FPL. That's probably why. Hello, Dylan. They say that Jovic will start, man. Well, Marka, though. Uh, Marka do, but not AS. So, obviously, it just depends on who you trust more. AS tend to be more reliable, according to Madrid fans and um, you know people from Spain who read them regularly. But, yeah. Uh, inter assets, Handanovic is a good option. Even Barella in midfield, you can go for Lautaro Martinez or Dzeko. Uh, but once again, you know, I can't obviously cover everyone or have everyone in my team. Um, so that's why I don't have any Inter players at the moment. There's also De Vrij in defence, especially if you're looking to wildcard. You know, he's a decent choice. Lautaro Halle. If you have enough money, I mean, Lautaro is an interesting option, but I don't know, I'd still probably go for Halle. Any news on Munia starting today? There isn't, to be honest. It's just basically, you know, what we have, our predicted lineups and our own intuition. Haller or Ronaldo? I've gone for Haller at the moment, but I might actually edge it towards Ronaldo. Yeah, that's weird. No Ronaldo in your squad. Well, he actually might make it, mate. Uh, Jekyll or Dumfries? I'd rather have Jekyll, to be honest. Haaland, mate. Yeah, I've talked about Haaland before, and he's probably not going to be playing today. If you check the reports, it looks like he's not even going to make the squad. No need to spam the chat. Uh, is Vinicius and Anthony good forwards? They are, but I'd rather have Benzema over Vinicius. Uh, Jacko, good option once again. I've talked about him. Frankie De Jong, a shout. Yeah, he's all right, but I'd rather have Memphis Depay up front and maybe Ansu Fati um, for Barcelona. Lautaro or Jacko? That's a tough one. I'd say probably Jacko, but Lautaro is really good too. Are you playing Limitless? I am. Best replacement for Haaland? Lewandowski, if not Benzema. One of those two. Yeah, Benzema Courtois doubts to start. Is Vinicius Jr. good? He is. I've already answered that. Barella or Malinovsky? Maybe Malinovsky, to be honest. Five million options better than Dumfries. I think Akanji, Thomas Mounier, just because of the fixture. And also, Thomas Mounier's got a lot of attacking potential. I honestly think that you could switch either Mane or Salah for Leipzig. Players like Emil or Christopher or Dominic. You would spread out your points differential. Keep Salah and switch to Nkunku. I've already got him. Uh, he's right here, in between Mane and Salah. Uh, I've already got him, so yeah. Uh, that's why I haven't gone for another Leipzig midfield. I think one's enough. And Club Bruges were pretty impressive against PSG. What I could do is get Bruno Fernandes instead or maybe another midfielder like an Eden Hazard. Maybe for Sadio Mane. That's what I could do. Maybe I'm going too much on the Liverpool um, attack. But then again, you know, they've done really well over the years against them. Bruno or Mane or Sane in Limitless? I'd actually say Sane, to be honest. He's in great form. Best captain for the first day? From my team, I'd say it's Benzema, but let's look actually at all the fixtures. So I think from Inter, you've got some interesting options like Dzeko potentially, um, Ajax, Halle, Tadic. They're probably two of the best ones, but I'd say either Benzema or Salah. Obviously, it would have been Haaland for me. Like He would have been the standout by far, but he is probably missing today. Um, so for me, it's Benzema or Salah or Mane. One of those three are looking really good for match day one, uh, day one as well, or match day two, day one. Why are you playing Limitless? Because I've had, I'd say, three or four injury doubts. And also I had wan suspended and just other areas where probably too weak. I made a few mistakes with my team selection. And I just think that with this team, I could make up 30, 40 points easily. But we'll wait and see. Lunin will be playing today, not Courtois. Obviously, we don't know that for sure. That's what Marker is saying. It's a big risk to go for Courtois. But I've always got Mendy for tomorrow as well. Mane or KDB? I'd go for Mane this week. Do you think Mane will play as he didn't start last match week? Yeah, he didn't start, but I still think he will, you know. Um, maybe Firmino will just come back for the Premier League instead. Maybe not match day seven in FPL, specifically against City, but maybe in the future. 
I just want to thank you for all your FPL and UCL content. Remember to subscribe and follow the stream, guys. Thank you very much, Zodiac. Uh, very much appreciated. And yeah, I have to say, my voice is completely gone now. Like, uh, yeah, it was already gone before the stream and um, try my best, trying to take some breaks in between. But yeah, it is pretty difficult at the moment. But thank you very much for everyone who's tuned in. There was 100 people waiting um, for several minutes, to be honest. So really appreciate it. Uh, will Morris start? I think he will, but literally I could be wrong about that. Gundogan playing, he's a risk. Um, he's an injury doubt, so that's why that's another reason why I limit list. Um, that's not even a word, by the way. Between Fabinho, Casemiro, and Jorginho, choose two. I mean, maybe Casemiro and Jorginho, but Fabinho's not bad either. How many points did he get last match day? I got 58. It was an awful week. What about Jota? Not for me against Porto. Obviously, he's a very lively player, but on a limit list, there's no need to go for him, I think. Of course, he can do well. Can I go for Muller instead of Haller? Of course you can, but I'd just rather have Sane in midfield and Lewandowski up front and then Davis or Kimmich in the defence and even probably Neuer. I use the limitless. Thanks for the push, bro. Lukaku or Benzema this week? I'd go for Benzema. Uh, the only thing going against Benzema is that he is a possible rotation risk, but with the form he's in, I think Madrid should play a strong team to secure the kind of group e easily and quickly. Um, I think he will start, but I could be wrong and uh, appreciate that, Glenn. In Cuckoo or Bellingham? That's a tough one. I'd probably go for Bellingham because of the fixture, but they're both good. Neuer or Mendy? If you can, I'd go for Neuer. But the reason why I haven't gone for Neuer myself is because I've got three Bayern players already and Sane is in fantastic form. Uh, no problem, Ricardo. Will you keep Haller now? Honestly, I might switch him to Ronaldo. Um, but it's something I've got to think about. Let me know what you guys think as well. But um, I'm not too sure about Haller. That's one of the kind of areas in this team which... Are kind of grey. It could easily change. And then I look at the rest of the team. Obviously, ideally, I'd want Neuer instead of Mendy, but once again, I've got Sane now instead. Rudiger or Mazzari? Long-term Rudiger, but for match day two specifically, definitely Mazzari. Thoughts on Barella? Good option. I've talked about that before. But honestly, especially in terms of my situation and playing the Limitless, I'm just not really thinking about him, but he is a decent choice. Um, there's also Kalinoglu. He's probably a better option from Inter. Um, you're on Limitless, why not buy in expensive players? Well, I mean, I do have expensive players like Lewandowski, Benzema, Salah, Mane, but it's not just about that. And I'd still be 15, 16 million over budget. So this team is impossible with a normal team. Uh, Haller or Salah for captain? I'd probably say Salah, but Haller's not a bad choice. Ronaldo or Haller? I don't know. I just think it's a bit silly maybe just to say, you know, Haller over Ronaldo. It's something I've got to think about. The reason why I've gone for Haller at the moment is because... Ajax are in such fine goal scoring form they're scoring so many goals and they just seem so much more promising offensively than Manchester United and also they probably have a slightly easier fixture on paper than United with Villarreal um, you're starting Hallo Ronnie at the moment Hallo but I may change it to be honest Ronaldo or Martinez I'd probably go for Ronaldo but Martinez is a good choice Lautaro captain, it could be a really good differential. 300 people in here who haven't liked the video. Yeah, I mean, it always tends to be like that. At least there's over 100 people who have liked it. But thank you very much to everyone who's tuned in and been patient. If you haven't already, like Harry says, smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. And I will try to get an FPL team selection video out within the next day or so. But it's obviously going to be very difficult and I may have to take a few days break because like I said, my voice is completely gone and I've had to take some medication, unfortunately. And yeah, like it was even worse in the morning, like uh, and overnight. It's been completely terrible. Uh, but obviously, you know, I try my best to be here. There's no one else who does deadline streams for UCL Fantasy. So I wanted, you know, a place and a platform for, you know, different people to have, you know, their opinions, their questions. And, uh, you know, if I haven't answered any, you can repeat them, but just try not to spam the chat. And, you know, apologies for being maybe slightly slow today. Um, I've had problems with the microphone and I don't know, I need a new mic even. Don't know what happened there and uh, yeah it just hasn't been my day so far hopefully the limitless goes well but if it doesn't maybe my ucl fantasy season is already over but you know it is what it is and uh, there's always next year i guess but yeah thank you very much to everyone who's been patient like i said really appreciate it why no trent like i said streety he hasn't traveled with the squad um so he's not going to be featuring it looks like uh last question any games you're going to watch definitely psg man city there's no doubt about it um obviously a lot of people watch man city well psg last week because of uh, Messi, or should I say two weeks ago. Um, that didn't deliver, but I think this game should be good. Um, thank you, Kunal. Really appreciate it. Um, leaving so soon? No, I'm not. I'm just uh, doing the plug and, you know, share my Twitter and Instagram, Dylan underscore RCM. Uh, I'm not leaving yet, but like I said, rock and roll. I mean, I am 
completely gone. Um, yeah, in terms of my voice, I'm probably gonna have uh, yeah severe pains afterwards. I mean, I already got some, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Chelsea assets Diego Carlos. Diego Carlos is a great option at 4.5 million. I've got him in my normal team, and I'm happy to keep him. Uh, but Wolfsburg's a decent fixture. You know, it's pretty difficult and. I just lost the question already. Chelsea assets. I've got double Chelsea defenders, actually. I like them. I've got Mendy in my team right now. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to keep them long term. But for match day two specifically, I think there are better choices like Mazzari at 4.5 million. And around five, you can get Thomas Munier, for example. Replacement for Trent Alexander-Arnold. I'd probably be looking at uh, Joshua Kimmich. If you don't have him already, definitely go for him. He's a fantastic choice. Uh, take a break, Dylan. We appreciate the effort. Thank you, the Flying Dutchman. Uh, yeah, I'm trying my best, like I said, but uh, yeah, I mean, the thing that bothers me the most is the microphone because, you know, I'd be like, fair enough, you know, I, I'll try, you know, go through this and uh, do the deadline stream anyway, but then the microphone doesn't work and it was before. I was literally doing videos yesterday and the day before. I have no idea why it wasn't working. Uh, thanks for your help, Dylan. Appreciate your help. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, big up Malaysia, obviously, and thank you for tuning in. If you were to swap Marnie, who would it be for? Maybe Bruno Fernandes. Um... Honestly, you know, I'm not too sure. That's why I'm actually kind of intrigued by Mane at the moment. I tend to not really like Mane as an asset, but let's look at, you know, sort it by price. You know, we tend to look at the more expensive players when looking at this. Um, let's see, up to 7 million, forget that. De Bruyne would be someone I'd consider, but I'd probably not go for him because of the fixture. Ilicic hasn't been starting for Atalanta recently, so otherwise I'd be considering him. Kalinoglu's decent. I'd actually, you know, be thinking about him at least. Malinovsky's another one. But yeah, other than that, I'm not really too impressed by these kind of options because a lot of teams have difficult fixtures or injury doubts like Julian Brown or Marco Royce. He would have been in my team, for example. Uh, Royce could be starting today, by the way, but it is unlikely, at least compared to before. But yeah, those are some of the names I'd probably be considering instead. Um, but yeah, of course, you know, Barella is also a good choice as well. Uh, and sometimes there might be a, main, a name I haven't mentioned today. Maybe no one has mentioned them and they turn out to be, you know, the best today, to be honest. So yeah, you never know with this, to be honest. And uh, let me change it back actually to, yeah, how it was before. And uh, there you go, a bit cleaner now. Maybe not as crisp in terms of the image, but yeah, that was something I'll look to sort out soon. No Guerrero, what? Well, actually, Guerrero is an injury doubt, at least he's been training but he might not even start today Munier is more of a, a certainty and also with Thomas Munier he's been in great form he's actually got more attacking returns uh Nami you're doing amazing these people would just like to steal and ask the same questions yeah I mean I have to, I have to admit you know I don't want to sound petty or you know <laughs> whiny but sometimes people actually ask a question I answer it and then they ask the question again and I just be like well what's the point of asking if you know you're not going to actually listen to what's been said and also other people in the chat do answer them too uh, but it is what it is and also gets in the way of other people who are waiting patiently uh, will Grealish start? I think he will he's the most nailed City attacker um, is this the best time to use the limitless chip? it's not necessarily you know the be all and end all it doesn't have to be match day 2 I talked about this in my video the other day there's also match day 5 um, which also has the same fixtures as match day 2 if you're wildcarding in the knockout stages then also be prepared or take a look at limitlessing in match day 3 or 4 I need to stop saying limitlessing uh, using the limitless in match day three or four but otherwise if you're using the wild card soon i'd probably just use it now or in match day five the reason why i wouldn't say match day six is because of rotation mares good choice once again but on the limitless with that fixture against psg i'm just not too sure to be honest barrios instead of mane uh, not for me because barrios's ceiling is like five six points mane could get double digits it's Halland out it's looking like it according to the newspapers like Bild. Uh, it looks like he's not even going to make the squad. Goretzka, I actually like him as an option. He's a good choice. He's just so injury prone. And I don't know, he's sometimes not even in the starting lineup. He can be in and out. Uh, no problem with the flamethrower. Who would you rather transfer in? Lewandowski or Benzema? Definitely Lewandowski, uh, Peter Peters. What makes Haller a better option than Ronaldo? Honestly, it's not really that he's a better option. I'm probably a bit more confident in the fixture. I think Besiktas is slightly easier than Villarreal. And also Ajax are in great goal scoring form not only in the Eredivisie, but also in the Champions League so far. But if I'm being completely honest, I might actually go for Ronaldo, not just because everyone's mentioning it, but because I'm actually, it's a kind of 50-50 decision, which uh, I haven't fully settled on yet. But in terms of other strikers, there's Lautaro Martinez, there's Edin Dzeko. I wouldn't be considering Griezmann. He hasn't even had a shot on target in four games for Atletico Madrid yet. Morata and Dybala are obviously out. Looking at the others, there is also Tadic. I'm actually a bit 
interested in Tadic, to be honest. And, um, you know, despite him blanking in match day one, he's a mega differential. He has done it in the past, and he is actually probably their best Champions League player over the last few seasons. So I am considering it, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, it could be an interesting choice. But, yeah, honestly, also the pie, by the way. The pie is a very interesting one, despite how bad Barcelona are. Uh, but honestly, I might actually just go for Ronaldo instead. Because I've gone for Mane over Bruno Fernandes, I might go for Ronaldo. And I've got Ajax covering the fence. But it can always backfire. You know, anything I do from here on now can backfire. You know, it is what it is. Why not Trent? Because he hasn't travelled with the squad, according to reports. And um, obviously, I need to actually double check this. But um, yeah, everywhere I've seen, it looks like Trent hasn't travelled with the squad. So uh, it just doesn't make sense to have him, really. Um, but yeah, if I am wrong about that, obviously, feel free to correct me there. Is Shaw available? I'm not sure if he's available for the Champions League, but it looks like he's going to be back for the Everton game in match day seven of FPL. Haaland and Royce, any updates? According to Bild, Royce could make the bench, possibly the starting lineup. As for Haaland, he's not going to make the bench at all and he won't be playing. I also use my Limitless. Yeah, it looks like a really popular time to use it. Davis, I mean, once again, great option. Go for him if you want, but I prefer Kimmich. Uh, what about Marcos Alonso? He's a good choice, but he is facing Juventus. And I would argue Rudiger and Aspilicueta are better options, and even Christensen, because of ball recoveries. Why not double up on Ajax attacking options? Um, honestly, because... I'm, yeah, I could go for Tadic and Haller, but I wouldn't really go for anyone else. And I just wouldn't really want to use two of my free striker slots on Ajax, even though they are really good. Mane better, bro. No Bruno, possibly. Uh, and Kante is back. I mean, he is. He has got COVID, actually, so it looks like he is going to be missing out. Besides, Chilwell might start, so Alonso's a doubt, potentially, yeah. Uh, Juventus is a tough fixture, but Chilwell, I mean, at least last season, he was favoured over Alonso in the kind of tougher games defensively. Yeah, yeah, I know. I realise that, yeah. You are talking about UCL. This is the thing. We just don't know yet. He is a risk. So going for sure... On a limitless, I probably just would avoid anyway. And United, if you check their clean sheet record, it's appalling. They just barely keep clean sheets, to be honest. In the Premier League, at least. What is it? One clean sheet in the last eight games? I'm not even sure, but it's, it's really poor. Why not Haller? Well, I mean, this is the thing. I've got him. I'm just considering going for Ronaldo instead. I mean, what's wrong for going for Mr. Champions League, to be honest? I mean, I don't know. It's a tough one. It's really tough. Um, I like both of them. What about Atalanta attackers like Zapata? Yeah, even Malinovsky. I would go for Ilicic, but because he's not been playing or starting, um, I'm just going to go without them. I've got Gossens instead. I think that could actually be pretty decent. I'm taking a risk and going for Kamavinga. Fair enough. It could actually go well for you. No PSG or City players. Well, it's a really difficult fixture. You know, they're both really good teams. It could go either way. I don't know how the game's going to end. It could, could be, you know... I think City are better at the moment, but PSG could turn up. Messi could have a great game, as he tends to do against Pep Guardiola, and he's the one to go for. Will Musiala start? I believe so, but once again, Bayern have been rotating a lot with their attackers. Sane and Lewandowski seem to be the most nailed. Is KDB a good option? Yes, he is, but once again, he faces PSG. It's a tough game, and I think other players might have a higher ceiling. Barella, good option for Limitless? He is. He is a good option, and Shakhtar are looking pretty poor at the moment, but yeah, I mean, there are so many choices to go for. That's why I haven't gone for him. Cristiano or Haaland? Well... Haaland normally, but Haaland is probably going to miss out today. So, yeah, Ronaldo uh, in that case. Is Munia definitely in? I think so in my team. Is he going to start? He might not. It could be pass lag, but I think he will start. Henderson or Mane? Definitely uh, Mane. Are you posting your subs for tomorrow on Instagram? I'll be posting my subs. Um, if you want, I can do on Instagram too. I'll be doing on Twitter if you want, and YouTube community posts. That's what I tend to do. But either way, I mean, what will change? If you just look at my team, what I will do basically is whoever does the worst in my starting 11, I'll take them out for pretty much everyone on my bench. That's literally it. And in terms of captaincy, if Benzema doesn't do well today, Lewandowski will be my captain tomorrow. So that's literally it. There's there's not much more to it, to be honest. Uh, but if you want, I can uh, do that too. Malinowski or Anthony Bergweiss? I'd say Malinowski, but Bergweiss is actually a really interesting choice, to be honest. Is Messi starting? He is, I think. Uh, and yeah, I agree with Zodiac. For people who are wondering, getting so many points for a match day is considered pretty good. 60 is okay. Yeah, especially this season so far, a lot of the kind of popular options, um, at least from our starting teams, didn't do too well. Um, but yeah, I think 70 is decent, of course. It depends. On a limitless, though, 
you'd want to have 80 plus points if possible. Uh, how about Dumfries? Good option once again if you want, go for him and he could do well. But I think Shakhtar will score today. That's my personal opinion. And also, I just think that he's not going to be as good of an asset as he was in Euro Fantasy Football. I could be wrong about that though. Uh, why Sane instead of Nabry? Because he's been in better form than Nabry and he's more nailed uh, under Nagelsmann. Besiktas has 11 injured players. Do they? Um, yeah, that's news to me, to be honest. I haven't heard anything about that. Not many people have talked about it. Um, yeah, once again, in terms of Lunin or Courtois, who's going to start? No one knows this for sure. Um, AS are saying Courtois. Marker are saying Lunin. We'll wait and see. But either way, I'm not really too... Like, who else could I get from the goalkeepers today? Maybe Handanovic, but I'm just not too keen on him. What do you think about Asensio over Mane? I think Asensio is more of a risk of starting or not than Mane is. And, you know, it could be Hazard instead of Asensio. And that's what AS were reporting today. Villarreal is tough at Man United. Why Ronaldo? Well, I don't have him at the moment. He's just, you know, something I might do in the end. I've actually got Sebastian Haller, but once again... There's arguments for and against both of them. I don't know who to go for, if I'm being honest. It's a 50-50 decision. Ronaldo's a better player, obviously. Um, I'd say, obviously, Haller is playing in a better team at the moment, especially offensively. But then again, since the last Champions League game, Haller hasn't scored, and Ajax have scored eight goals overall. He's only got one assist out of those eight. Then with Ronaldo, he's been doing really well despite United struggling. And when you look at both teams, Villarreal and Besiktas, I'd say Villarreal are slightly tougher than Besiktas, especially if Besiktas have so many injuries, as alluded to earlier. Um, they got five subs, says Rock and Roll. Wow. <laughs> um, Trent or Mazzari? Mazzari, because Trent is probably not going to play. I think he's uh, not travelled. Uh, not enough forward spots, exactly. In UCL Fantasy, I wish there were four. Um, no, Highland doesn't fit. Yeah, he's not going to play today, I think, according to the news. Yeah, and as for Trent, by the way, it's not an injury, it's uh, his illness, because he was ill at the weekend against Palace. Um well, not the weekend, you know, against Brentford and Palace. Um, yeah, he's not going to be playing. He should be back for game week seven in FPL. So we'll wait and see. But yeah, obviously, um, this is the thing, though. With Actually, yeah, you might be right, actually, with Trent. <laughs> I'm getting confused with this. He was ill against Palace. Then he came back for Brentford, and now it seems like he's injured again. Well, we'll wait and see. But oh, that's definitely wildcard territory in FPL, isn't it? I mean, that's something else I have to think about in the coming days. Haaland in or out? Well, he's not going to play today, it looks like. So I'd just get him out. Haaland scored two goals. Um, maybe Antti and Haller both. Besiktas has 11 injured players. Just go for one. I mean, just think about it. You have three forward spots. Why waste two of them? Or not waste, but why use two of them on you know Antony and Haller? I think one should be enough. Guerrero or Munier? I'd go for Munier, mate. Lukaku also a better option? Long term, yes, but not right now. I am not going for Ronaldo. Villarreal kept a clean sheet against Madrid. Besiktas have considered seven goals since the Dortmund game. Fair enough. Yeah, Marania, that, that's a good point. That, that is a good point. And... Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm struggling to get Ronaldo in. I mean, it seems so weird, you know, going for Haller over Ronaldo. Uh, what about Barella? Once again, I've talked about it. And he is a good option this week. But I'm just not going to go for him myself. But obviously, I'm not saying he's a bad option. He could do really well this week. He's got different avenues to points. He's not a reliable goal scorer or assister. But he can do a bit of both and get ball recoveries. I'm your 600th Twitter follower. Thank you very much, uh, Sakdev. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's great to know, man. And I mean... Yeah, the growth in YouTube and Twitter has been insane recently. So obviously, appreciate everyone who's been uh, supporting the channel. And obviously, once again, I have to say apologies. I have lost my voice completely, but I'm still trying to do the stream. I'm going to try and do an FPL team selection video over the next day. But in terms of the usual preview and rating your teams, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to do any of them. And hopefully, I'm fully recovered by the next stream. Uh, and hopefully, the microphone is also sorted by then uh, in time for the deadline stream for FPL Game Week 7. What about Robertson? Yeah, he's a good option. I had him on my team. There's no need to spam the chat, mate. Bro, please answer Jekko or Lautaro. I talked about this before. I think Jekko, I, I don't know. I have a gut feeling about him. So I might be the wrong person to ask about that. I like Lautaro a lot. I've watched him a lot for Argentina, but I'd probably go for Jekko. Haaland play match today. It doesn't look like he will, according to the reports. They could be wrong, though. Let's wait and see. But Bile tend to be very reliable with German clubs and their news. Uh, who should I captain today? Trent or Hakimi or Alvarez or Fabinho? Uh, Trent isn't going to play today, mate, um, because it looks like he's injured. He hasn't travelled the squad. Honestly, from those four options, I'm not really... Maybe Fabinho, um, yeah. How about De Bruyne? Once again, he's a fantastic option in Champions League. He's been great in the, over the last year, but he's playing PSG, so yeah, I'm not going for him. Rudiger, great option, but he's just not in my team. Uh, I personally think Cavani gets his first start. It, yeah, it could happen, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, 
with the Carabao Cup, obviously United got knocked out of that. That was a great opportunity to kind of make everyone happy in the squad. Um, now, from time to time in the Champions League or the FA Cup or Premier League, uh, there might be a bit more rotation for United. Maybe not too often, though. Oli isn't that type of manager. I think I'm going for Halle, Ronaldo and Lewandowski. Fair enough. I've gone for Benzema instead of Ronaldo, but there's no right or wrong there. Why Mendy or not Neuer? Um, obviously, look, just to make this absolutely clear, uh, clear, I can't even speak, Neuer is better than Mendy this week. But because I've got Sane, I've got triple up in Bayern already, I just can't go for Neuer myself. Uh, Simicast will play, not Robertson. I'm not too sure about that. I still think Robertson will play. Is Haller good? Uh, I think he is good, but he's not the best, maybe. I mean, I've just... He did really well match day one, but since then he hasn't scored in Eredivisie, of course. Why Militao over any other round defenders? Ball recoveries. For every three ball recoveries you make, you get a point. And Eda Militao is very good at that. He's got a bit of attacking threat. And he's also in very good form. He's one of the best centre-backs at the moment. I have 11 million left. Should I just go for Messi or go for Haller? Because of the fixture, I'd probably go for Haller. But Messi, you know, you can never discount him. He's got a great record against Pep Guardiola teams. I think he's got six goals in four games, something like that, or five games. Best midfielder under four million. There's no one really. I mean, no one. You could just get anyone. Whoever's cheapest, there's no one, honestly. Haller or Ronaldo? It's a tough one. I mean, look, never bet against Ronaldo. But because of Ajax's form... I'm going for Haller myself at the moment. And also Besiktas are in much worse form compared to Villarreal. Casemiro Musiala, I'd go for Musiala, but both good. Jacko, good option. Why not Nabri? He's not as nailed as Sane, and Sane's been in fantastic form. Uh, still keep Aspilicueta says Chelsea's so good defensively. Yeah, I mean, I've got him in my normal team, but I've got Mendy to cover for Chelsea anyway. And I like these defenders a lot. That's why I've gone for it. There's, look, I've, I've got to stress this once again. You know, there's so many options in UCL Fantasy. You can't cover everyone, of course. Aspilicueta, Rudiger Christensen, they're all great options. Uh, you've got so many in midfield, and not to mention the forwards. And we've only got three slots, but you know, once again, you know, we can't have everyone. Um, that's the thing. Why Mane? Because he's got a great record against Porto, and I just got a good feeling about him. You know, it's a gut feeling. Sometimes in UCL Fantasy or FPL, you've got to just take these kind of punts and uh, just go for it. Um, obviously, there's these stats. Mane has been scoring a few goals recently. Uh, he gets a lot of good chances. That's what I like about him. Let's see if he can finally finish. Alaba will start. According to AS, he will. Same with Ele Militao. And same with Courtois, Benzema, etc. But we'll wait and see. Force in the pie this week. Great option. Great differential. And he's someone I have considered, honestly. But um, I just like Halle's fixture a bit more. I think Benfica are reasonably decent, to be honest. Um, Alaba will start. I think so. How about Dumfries? Good option. But... I actually prefer all of the defenders you see on screen, to be honest, and even Robertson. Best captain today, I think Benzema or Salah, one of those two for sure. What about De Bruyne? Once again, you can't have everyone. He's a fantastic option, but he's facing PSG. Is wildcard on in match day three potentially, but if not, I will save it for the knockout stages. It depends on how my team is lining up for match day three and the injuries. I'm sorry if this has been answered. Is Hallam playing? Obviously, we can't say definitively. But according to the reports, Haaland is not going to make the squad today. And Royce could make the starting lineup. But even he is a bit of a doubt. And Haaland is not going to play. What about Anthony? Good option. If you want, go for him. Same with Bergweiss. I would recommend both of them from Ajax Attack as good differentials. But I'm going for Haller at the moment. Uh, taking Dortmund wasn't a great option. Um, fair enough. Yeah, it might not be, to be honest. But um, I still think they can do well against Sporting. Do you expect a lot of goals? Porto versus Liverpool. Maybe looking at recent history and how good Porto have been, maybe it will be a bit tighter than I expect. And it's the wrong call to go for Mane and Salah. But I think Liverpool can score two or three. That's why I'm backing both of them. Yeah, Mane always scores when he plays against Porto. Hopefully that continues. Ronaldo instead of Benzema, not for me. Maybe instead of Haller, but not instead of Benzema. Of course, I could be wrong. Lunin is playing 100%, by the way. Well, that's according to Marca, but according to AS, it's going to be Couture. Any news on Haaland? Once again, Ali... Um, it looks like he's not going to be playing today. He's not going to be in the squad. Uh, why Benzema might not start? Because Ancelotti was talking about potential rotation and Marca, uh, who are a Madrid-based newspaper. And obviously Madrid are their main club that they cover. They say that he's not going to start. Who has that start? It's between him and Asensio, but it's likely that he could start, yeah. Best keeper up for the Limitless, uh, Couture and Neuer. Um, but if you have Sane and you've got triple Bayern already... I'd probably go for Mendy or Ter Stegen instead. Um, do you think doing wildcard today is good? It could be decent, actually. And if you check Fantasy Football Hub, if you check the website, 
um, there's actually a team, a wildcard team for match day two. So if you want to check that out, it's actually really good. I edited that. Uh, I do work for them and um, that could be very useful for you. Martinez or Hala, I'd go for Hala. Hazard to start, I think he will, but once again, you know, don't hold me to that. Captain Marnie for a punch, I'm I'm being honest, I've actually considered it. I've actually considered it and might actually go for it um, because I've got Lewandowski tomorrow anyway. So it's between Benzema and Marnie for me. Salah's always, you know, he's the most reliable um, out of the three, but I'm actually considering Marnie. He's only 1% owned unless, you know, he's gone up a bit um, since this stream has gone on. Uh, thoughts on Fulgen Hazard? Not for me. Obviously, he can be good in the Euros. He's shown what he could do, but not for me. Why Mendy over other goalies? I trust Chelsea defense, and because I don't have Aspliqueta, Rudiger, I can cover them potentially with Mendy. Uh, Ilicic, good limitless pick. If he was starting recently, but because he isn't, I'm just not too sure if he will start in match day two. Forsberg, Bruno. I think he could do well, but I'd rather have Ronaldo. Uh, Benzema, Martinez. Benzema for me. Hazard on Limitless is just acceptable because he will probably be injured gimmick free. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't want him on a wild card or anything like that. Uh, should I take Jacko over Haller? If you want a differential, then yeah, I'd probably go for it. But even then, Haller's not that highly owned. But um, I would rather have Haller, but Jacko is a good alternative. Do you think Jota will start for Mane? I think both of them could start. But once again, it might be Firmino coming in for one of the front three, resting um, them ahead of the match day seven game against. Man City in FPL, which I say game week seven. I saw Ronaldo over Haaland, fair enough. I mean, I think Haaland isn't going to play today, according to the reports. Top three defenders for match day two specifically, Joshua Kimmich for sure, and even arguably for the rest of the group stages, um, Mazzari for match day two, and Gossens. Uh, but to be honest, I like Munier a lot this match day, and even Militao, that's why I've got them, to be honest. Jesus. Clean sheet for Ajax, potentially. Uh, thank you, Fan Dutchman, for moderating the chat. A defender from Real Madrid, Eden Militao for me. Uh, thoughts on Benzema? I think he's going to start, of course. Some people don't think he will, but um, I think he is going to. What do you think of Pogba, Jorginho, Casemiro? Jorginho and Casemiro are very good for ball recoveries. Pogba, I think there are better options, especially for uh, around his price, so I'd probably offload him. Um... Lautaro has a 1.22 XG this season. Insane. Yeah, but he's been scoring. He's been very clinical. For Argentina, though, he does miss some guilt edge chances, to be honest. But I like him a lot. He's very competitive. He's very fierce. He's very physical. He gets stuck in a lot. He's also good with link-up from time to time. Um, sometimes, though, his passing can be a bit sloppy. But I like him a lot. And, uh, yeah, obviously, Copa America winner. I, I do love the lad. Um, do it. Less than 15 minutes to start already. Yeah, I'm potentially thinking about it, to be honest, especially if, for example, Benzema doesn't start. But then again, is Mane going to start? There is a slight doubt that he doesn't. And if, if Mane and Benzema don't start, I may as well log off, to be honest. Lewandowski or Benzema? Lewandowski for sure. Uh, thoughts on Chiesa? He's facing Chelsea. I wouldn't be getting him in just yet. And he's also a bit too expensive for my liking. Um, yeah, Ezequiel, I'd rather have Halle over Martinez, but I like Martinez too. Uh, hope you've got a jug of water with you. I do, but honestly, like I said, jug of water or not, my throat is absolutely gone. Uh, my voice is gone, um, even before this. And like I said, I've had to take pills and different stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to get into that too much. Guys, grab Sane. He's a monster. Yeah, he's. I've checked his recent form. He's been getting assists. He's been getting goals. He's been absolutely amazing. So he could even be on for the Man of the Match award if Lewandowski doesn't get it. Do you think the Sagan's a good shout? I think with the fixture, yes. The main problem is that he's playing for Barcelona, who defensively, yeah, they've kept two clean sheets on the bounce, but overall, they are so poor defensively. And I wouldn't be surprised if Benfica score. They are at home after all. Uh, would you take a hit for Nkuku in Pogba out? That's a bit risky, but I potentially would. I mean, Pogba could get an assist or two in this match day. So, you know what? I'd probably just... I'd probably keep him. If you have a bit of faith with Pogba, then just keep him for now and then get rid of him next week. Yeah, look at previous matches, always involved in goals, exactly. Mane will start, yeah. Benzema, Ronaldo, uh, I'd go for Benzema, um, but Ronaldo is always good. Munio, Guerrero, Munio for me. Alaba, Militao, yeah, I'd go for Militao. I think ball recoveries also, you've got to think about ball recoveries. Will Benzema play? I think so, but don't hold me to that. If you don't think he will, don't go for him. Robin Gossens is such a good budget centre-back to uh, buy. He is worth every penny. He's actually technically a wing-back, but I get what you mean. He's for... A defender in UCL Fantasy is fantastic value in match day two. Benzema playing, I think so. Salzburg assets, not for me. And by the way, you know, there's other fixtures that I haven't even talked about. You know, that you can't cover everything. I can't have everyone in my team, for example. But if you look at match day two or day two of match day two, there's Zenit against Malmo. 
I could be very good. You could go for some of their defenders potentially. Um, but once again, you know, you can't have everyone. And I'm very happy with the team I have. Hopefully it delivers and everyone starts. And uh, um, this is, you know, a very good day in the end. But we'll, we'll wait and see. But yeah, there's other options you can go for. Any thoughts on KDB? I've talked about him multiple times in the stream, mate, believe it or not. And once again, I think he's a great option. But I'd rather have Salah. And I also look at PSG as a fixture. I just think there's better options this week. Uh, potentially go for Bellingham or Nkunku I'd probably go for Bellingham suggest some other goalkeepers please Handanovic I'd probably say also Neuer if you don't have triple bind definitely go for Neuer and this is for people in Limitless by the way uh, Mane might not start why not get Vinicius because I've got Benzema already and if rotation does happen around Madrid Vinicius might not even start himself uh, do your bench players get less points if you trade them in later no they get the same points as they would normally um, just bear in mind that those that you sub off their points won't count That that is what happens um, Manyan has highest points he does but that's because he saved the penalty from Salah which is not going to happen every week and he's got a tough group uh, I think I might take a cheeky punt and bring in Laudaro over Benzema Forts. I mean fair enough and if Benzema doesn't start you could actually be well ahead of the curve and you do really well so that's not really uh, too bad to be honest Trent or Robbo uh, Robbo because Trent didn't travel with the squad Dylan I need your help KDB is a good option yes but once again I think there are better choices this week that's why I'm not going for him but of course, De Bruyne can do well against PSG. He has done so in the past, but it's such a difficult game to call. I'm just, I'm not sure if I would do it. Cristiano or Haller? I'm going for Haller, but Ronaldo is always good. Have you used any chip? Yes, I've used my Limitless. I'm 15, 16 million over budget. Benzema Lewandowski for Haller and Mbappe? Definitely, mate. Definitely. That's the best thing you can do, Carlos uh, Graterol. Uh, 10 minute warning. Yep. Thank you, Harry. Munia versus Dumfries. Munia for me. Um, no way. Benzema not starting. Um, what, as in, there's no way that he isn't starting? Or no way, Benzema isn't starting? But yeah, uh, Mazari captain potentially. I mean, this game, you can actually captain defenders. You know, take a punt. You know, captain Amane, captain Mazari, captain Akimic, uh, and all of this. You know, it could actually happen. You know, why not? I think it's a good cho uh, choice. If you have Lewandowski tomorrow, I'd be tempted to go for one of these kind of punts you're thinking of. Um, KDB or Grealish for this week? As a UCL fantasy asset, I'd rather have KDB. Vinicius or Benzema? Benzema. Isn't Courtois out? I don't think so. I think he will start. But once again, you know, two of the main outlets for Spain, AS and Marca, they're reporting different things. AS are saying Courtois starts. Marca are saying he doesn't. Uh, Munier versus Dumfries. Once again, dear River, I said Munier. Uh, take minus four points for Militao instead of Shaw. Uh, that's risky. I mean, this is the thing. Um, will Shaw start tomorrow? We just don't know. And United are very poor in terms of clean sheets. Um, it might be worth it, but it's obviously a bit risky. Why limitless? Because my team had too many problems in terms of injuries and uh, also wan suspended. And also, I think this team could get me a lot of points. Uh, best 5 million goalkeeper? Let me double check this, but I'm pretty sure I'd go for this lad. Let me, let me double check this. Uh, make transfers... Yeah, I want to make absolutely sure that this guy is five minute, five million, but I don't think he is actually. No, oh, he's five point five. Yeah, Handanovic is five point five. Yeah, unfortunately, no. So for five point five million, uh, five million, I think Bono actually could be good. Um, looking at the options, maybe not this week necessarily, but long term he could be good. Um, Castiles is decent, but I'd probably rather have Rusion and one of the other um, defenders there, like Baku. Um, other than that, not really too convinced yeah i'd probably say bono would be my goalkeeper of choice actually the ajax goalkeeper is a really good one this week um Pasvir. yeah Pasvir is one so Pasvir or bono go for one of them um, i think they would be the best ones uh thanks for streaming guys remember to like the stream thank you zodiac really appreciate the shout outs mate uh, means a lot kind of funny they didn't show you're suspended yeah this is the thing where you see your fantasy they're not like fpl which tend to be on the ball with these suspensions and injuries and stuff. They just they sometimes don't update it. Bruno Armani this week. I've gone for Mane, but it's very risky, of course. You know, just back your gut on that one, but I'm going, I'm going for Mane. <laughs> That's very weird, of course. What do you think of Van Dijk and Hakimi? Um, Hakimi this week against City is a no-go. Um, of course, he's got a lot of attacking potential. He can do well. And as for Van Dijk, he's got great ball recoveries. Um, and the fixture isn't too bad, but I'm not... I prefer the defenders I have, but I do like Van Dijk and Robertson as well. Uh, seven minutes to go. Good luck, lads. Thank you very much. Uh, sure starter from Real Madrid attack. Normally, I'd say Benzema, but maybe he isn't a sure starter. I don't know who will start for sure, uh, to be honest. Rakitic or Frankie Dion? Uh, Rakitic. 
Thoughts on Barella? I like him, to be honest, this week, but I prefer Nkunku, Bellingham and Musiala. Thank you, Dylan. Take care and have a great day. Thank you, Vinny. Uh, really appreciate it. Best front three of the game for match day two, I believe it is this. Uh, but there's also Lautaro Martinez, Jerko, Cristiano Ronaldo, and yeah, there's so many. Uh, best captain, I think, for this match day specifically, either Mane, Salah or Benzema. If Benzema starts, he's probably the best captain see on paper. And tomorrow, definitely Lewandowski, no doubt about it. Do you think having Kane and Salah is safe um, in FPL? At this moment in time, not having... I mean, having Kane is not safe. Salah is always safe, in my opinion. Uh, Handanovic or Galashi? I'd rather have Handanovic, but Galashi is decent. Um, good luck. Thank you, Vijay. Any 4-point family midfielder? Just Alvarez, really. Um, but, yeah. Why Halo, not Ronaldo? <laughs> this is the thing, you know. When I was thinking of having Ronaldo, people were saying, why not Halo or why Ronaldo? Look, Ronaldo and Bruno are good options, and I'd like to have them too, but I don't know. I just I prefer Besiktas as a fixture than Villarreal. Um, why not Hakimi? Because he plays Man City. Mane captain, potentially, to be honest. I'm not, It's really risky, to be honest, but I've got Lewandowski tomorrow. Uh, remember, you can change the captain. Uh, that's why I'm being a bit bold here. Um, but I don't know, I might just stick on Benzema like I had it before. There's also Salah. Uh, Royce is injured. Yeah, I mean, the news was that he could make the bench, maybe the starting lineup, but I don't know. Uh, 418 people watching. Do like and subscribe to this channel, guys. Yeah, thank you very much for the shout out, mate. What is the reason Bellingham and Nkuku instead of Fernandez? Because not only are they in great form, but everything for their teams just goes through them. Bruno Fernandes, same thing, but not to the same extent as before. And Ronaldo is the talisman now. And also Villarreal is a tougher fixture uh, than the other two. Uh, Captain Haller. Yeah. Um, good luck with that, mate. Hopefully it goes well. I've got him in too. Why don't you replace Gossens or Ronaldo? Uh, because you have to have five defenders and three strikers. You can't have four forwards. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're right. I would have four or five forwards. And I'd probably have two or three defenders, if anything. Uh, but you have to have five defenders. You can't just replace a defender with a, a striker. Um, good luck bro thank you very much Glenn thank you Chloe thank you would you captain Hazard I mean if you have Lewandowski tomorrow why not take a punt if you have a good feeling about it go for it but um, otherwise you know if you didn't have another captain to fall back on I probably wouldn't I think it's a bit risky uh, but then again so is Mane thanks for a great stream good luck thank you Morphs really appreciate it use wildcard no I use the limitless good luck Dylan thanks for the mod once again thank you Kobe obviously I do trust you and uh, thank you for moderating the chat and same with the Flying Dutchman and the others uh, should I take a hit to replace Hakimi? Best replacement? Um, I wouldn't take a hit to get rid of him because I think going forward is a good option. Uh, I just wouldn't get him in ahead of match day two. Grealish or KDB? KDB, mate. Any 4 million defender? Um, yeah, Roussillon. Roussillon, definitely. When to activate Limitless? Either a match day two or five for me. Will Haaland play? It doesn't look like he will. What about Marlon? Great option. That's a great shout. He could be a great um, differential who fills in for Haaland. But I would rather have Bellingham or potentially Brandt or um, Royce. As you can tell, my voice is literally going by the minute. Is it worth taking out Haaland for Benzema? Um, yes, I think so for this match day, especially if it isn't, uh, you know, without a hit. Uh, why Benzema in the team when unsure of him starting? Well, I'm pretty confident in him starting, but of course, if you don't think he will, uh, don't go for him. Why no Trent? He hasn't traveled with the squad. Good luck, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, taking a, a hit too, by the way. Yeah, I mean... It might be worth it, but just try not to take too many hits, especially in UCL Fantasy. Halo Martinez, Martinez, uh, Halo for me. But Ronaldo is Mr. Champions League. Who cares about that? Uh, Halo plays Besiktas, yeah? This is why, you know, just go for it. You know, back your own decisions. I, I'm i uncomfortable going about Ronaldo. I would I wish I had four forwards, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. Who's your captain? It's Mane at the moment, but it could easily be Benzema and Salah. And if it doesn't go well, I'll be captaining Lewandowski tomorrow. Uh, Mane, yeah, he's got a great record against Porto, but I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be going for him. Thank you, mate. Get well soon. Thank you, Canal. Really appreciate it. Final decision. I think Benzema is going to start. I think he can do really well against Sheriff. He's the most informed player in the world at the moment. I'm going to be captaining him, I think. But Mane does tempt me. Uh, because of Lewandowski tomorrow, having him to fall back on. Ronaldo instead of Halo is something I thought about a lot. There's also, for example, maybe to Stegen instead of Mendy or going for Two outfield players for Bayern and going for Neuer in goal. And then maybe going for Bruno Fernandes instead of Sane. I have considered all of these things. But I think I'm just going to stick with this. I'm not overthink it. Not make, you know, just um, last minute changes because they could also backfire. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who has tuned in um, today. The deadline's about to pass any second now. Let me actually check the time. 
Um, yeah, there's literally just seconds to go. So I've made my final decision, and that is my final team. Captain KDB or Mbappe? I probably captain KDB, but both of them are good. Mane or KDB? Mane this week, but KDB is a great choice overall. And there we go. We're locked in. My limitless is done. Hopefully it goes well. I have captain Benzema as well. It's a really popular choice at the moment. Benzema or Mane? I've gone for uh, Benzema, but both really good options. Thank you very much to everyone once again uh, for tuning in. And like I said, apologies, but my voice is absolutely gone. And uh, I'm going to try to recover as soon as possible. And uh, I'm surprised I even managed to do the stream anyway. And uh, I'm going to feel this definitely in the morning and even tonight. Um, and if you know you want to see more, um, especially in terms of you know updates on my teams and uh, all of that, and also talking about football, UCL Fantasy and FPL, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Dylan underscore RCM. Jesus, I need a break. Um, Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. Good luck with UCL Fantasy. Um, I can still tune in for a bit or, you know, chill out for a bit more, uh, answering any final questions. But like I said, I'm <laughs> literally on my last legs at the moment and uh, definitely looking to get better. Hopefully I can record the FPL team selection video soon. It would have been out already. It would have been out already. But literally, like I said, uh, I've been having problems recently in the last few days with my voice. So I've literally completely lost it now. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. Still 273 people here. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, really? I didn't even know that. We've reached 6,000 subscribers, really? Wow, we've got 6,020, I believe. I, I don't know the exact figures. Wow, that's happened on stream. Thank you very much to everyone um, for subscribing to the channel. I think we hit 5,000 just a few weeks ago and 4,000 maybe a month ago. So really appreciate it, of course. Really appreciate it. It means a lot. And uh, same for everyone who's following on Instagram and Twitter, who's always, you know, providing ideas, feedback, you know, how to improve the videos, um, talking about ideas for the teams themselves and all of that. Obviously, really appreciate it. That's why I'm here uh, doing this, even though I was thinking of not doing it today. And also the microphone isn't working properly, which I don't know why I need to fix that as well. I'll be doing that straight after. I'm going to try to go through these questions I missed out. Uh, Salah captain of a Benzema. There's nothing wrong with that, to be honest. The deadline has passed. Good luck, everyone. And Dylan, thank you very much, mate. You too. Stay safe and get well soon, buddy. Thank you very much, Vishal. And you too. Stay safe, mate. Don't go with your guts. Go with the odds. Benzema looking really good. I did end up doing that, mate. But um, yeah, once again, the reason why I was thinking of Mane is because of his record against Porto and also Lewandowski captain tomorrow. I've got him in the bank. Good luck and have fun. Thank you, uh, rock and roll. Thanks a lot, Dylan, for all the work. Get well soon. Thank you, Dr. Swan. Obviously, a long-time subscriber. Uh, why is your bench so strong? Because you can bring them on in match day two, well, in day two or match day two. There's a substitution window every single match day and you can use that to change your captain and put new players in. Why not Mane captain? There's nothing wrong with it. And I just ended up going for Benzema because of his form. They're both good options. Captaining Haller, hopefully it pays off. Hopefully it does. Hopefully we see Ajax score a lot of goals. Uh, good luck. Thank you, Mato FPL. Really appreciate it. Good to see you on here. Good luck, everyone. Have a good week. Thank you, Harry. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, you can make subs exactly, Nick. Who are you captaining if Benzema blanked? Lewandowski. No doubt about it. Lewandowski. Um, let me actually check, you know. I'm pretty sure, wait. Hopefully I've done this right. Um, you know, sometimes you know, it's good to double check, even though it doesn't actually make a difference now. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, everyone plays on the 29th. No one on the 28th. That's fine, yeah. Um, there's nothing wrong with the team selection. Remember, have players who play today in your starting lineup and those who play tomorrow on your bench. Always do that. Always make sure... Um, to have manual control of your substitutions. Thank you, Chu, for the um, wishes. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you as well, Patriotic Irish BVB. Hopefully BVB do really well today as well. Uh, captaining defence. That, that, that's Obviously, you can do that in UCL Fantasy, even in FPL, but I think it's more rewarding and likely to pay off in UCL Fantasy. I was close to captaining Haller, but kept on Benzema last minute. Great stream as always. Thank you very much, Mickey. Thank you for tuning in, and obviously apologies for the microphone. Um, apologies for uh, the late start because of that and also you know the voice hopefully it all gets better soon uh, thank you obviously hey it's me rush for pointing out the 6,000 subs thank you code good luck to you as well good luck to you as well Azri thank you Ben really appreciate you joining in uh, can't bench boost right I mean to be honest there's no need anyway uh, but no you can't bench boost uh, there's only the limitless and the wild card and uh, in terms of your bench you can bring them on during the substitution window hope you mend up thank you very much uh, Irish thank you very much Thank you for an incredible deadline stream, Dylan. Good luck. Thank you, Carlos Graterol. And uh, you've got a good team there. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. 6,000 subs done. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, to be honest. Uh, yeah, Like I said, the amount of growth over the last month, pretty much 2,000 subscribers, a few hundred thousand views. It's absolutely insane. And uh, 
and yeah YouTube obviously I'm now a YouTube partner as they say um, since that time so obviously really appreciate it obviously couldn't do this without you guys and girls so thank you very much get some rest of and see you in the next FPL video <laughs> yeah uh, that's definitely the plan now I'm gonna try to get a team selection video out I, I can't promise anything unfortunately but I'll try get it out within the next day or so if possible and then I probably won't be able to do the preview and rating your teams unfortunately like I normally would do uh, but yeah over the last two three maybe four weeks I've been doing videos every single day so probably just need a break uh, and then yeah hopefully I'll get better soon uh, how long have you been playing FPL pretty much two seasons I've had two seasons under my belt I finished 67k and 55k if I'm not mistaken and same with UCL Fantasy I finished around 20k in my first season and around three or four k last season I need to double check I've got a screenshot somewhere uh, but there's no way of actually checking your rank I think uh, thank you rock and roll thank you very much thank you Shanto uh, and Sash uh, feel better great, great stream as always thank you Mickey mate uh, risk and Royce over Bellingham because fuck it why not yeah hopefully both of them do really well uh, will Hallam play I don't think he will Kian uh, thank you Carlos Jesus <laughs> uh, 6,000 subs well done thank you very much love from Australia thank you very much big ups Australia thank you Sash hope you get him big uh, yeah I mean uh, honestly just talking about football and FPL and UCL fantasy that's the main thing but thank you very much uh, so good keep it up lad thank you EW nah Hallam won't play most likely sad one yeah he was an easy captaincy choice this week uh, and just for today really um, little break little break gonna try captain Haller first and if he blanks then switch to Lewandowski yeah that, that makes sense to be honest that's why you can take these risks um, would be nice for you to have the most frequently asked uh, questions answered on the screen so you don't have to answer the same questions over and over yeah that's a good point but I mean it'd be quite difficult to do because obviously some people you know they might have some different you know questions that aren't pre-prepared so I'd have to you know make the graphics and stuff whilst I'm doing the stream I get what you mean though um, but yeah I mean yeah that might be something to consider like for example before today you know is Haaland gonna play and I just put no I don't think so or something like that yeah you, you, that's a good idea but in terms of you know some questions are quite I'd say spontaneous or some news might break out as I'm streaming uh, went with Dumfries and captain in the end good luck with that and that's very bold obviously he's very good in Euro fantasy football captain Lautaro that's really impressive hopefully he does well uh, obviously like I said I'm a big fan of him good luck Dylan hope we can both haul my limitless team similar to yours yeah Jonathan hopefully we both do really well we need it after a very poor start um, well at least in my case always got Lewandowski to fall back to exactly Dr. Swan went with Militao as captain wow that's interesting hopefully he does well cheers from Venezuela thank you Carlos I've actually got friends from Venezuela um, the person who made um, my friend uh, who made the graphics uh, or at least the, the logo the channel logo and my uh, channel banner he's from Venezuela a good friend of mine uh, so yeah big up Venezuela and uh, we actually play each other soon Argentina Venezuela in the World Cup qualifiers with a bit of differentials yeah Jonathan Men up well, Dylan. Thank you. Obviously, once again, Irish for the good wishes. Um, when is the FPO live stream, Burrow? If I've recovered, it will probably be on the Friday as usual. And then on Saturday, a reaction stream. Obviously, I'll be asking you a lot for feedback. But if I'm not able to, um, I might have to pass up this week, unfortunately. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it tends to be the Friday and the Saturday. Um, yeah. Hi, mate. How... Um, how have you been? Hope you have a great game week. FPL, Matt Price. Yeah, thank you, Matthew Price. Obviously, I, I recognize you from different videos and uh, live streams from before. Really appreciate it. Yeah, at the moment, I've lost my voice. That's why I haven't done the team selection video yet. And uh, I've struggled to do this one today. Uh, but thank you very much for everyone who's tuned in. Good luck, mate, and get well soon. Thank you, Vijay. What's your idea about a wild card for this week? Um, like I said, in terms of wildcarding in match day two, there was a really good article, which I mentioned earlier, from Fantasy Football Hub, which I edited. Um, and yeah, someone else wrote it. I think it was Kevin Wolf, who finished 21st in the world last season. I would thoroughly recommend that. But in terms of match day three, I'll be doing a wildcard video for match day three. And uh, so no need to worry about that one. And I'm possibly going to be wildcarding myself. Hope you'll remember me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not famous or anything. Don't worry about that. But yeah, thank you very much, uh, Chong. And of course, I remember everyone uh, who's been appearing, you know, regularly on this. And uh, yeah, obviously, like I said, really appreciate it. Great stream as always, mate. Thank you, Kobe. Will you wildcard in match day three? Probably, uh, Jonathan, probably. I'll let you know. And I'll be making a best match day three uh, team. Um, anyway, uh, for a second, I thought Haller and Mazzari got a yellow card because they went from one to zero points. Uh, thanks for the live stream, Dill. Thank you, Hoxton. How do you get mod? 
Um, I could actually make you a mod genius game. I recognize you and I trust you. I just, um, what I did was I looked at my last two streams and I, I was looking at some of the people who, you know, obviously patient, who make, you know, good contributions to the, the channel, to the chat and the discussion. And um, obviously who are reasonable, you know, got good ideas and all of that. And I just made the mod rare. I made quite a few people mod rare, but I can do the same for you after this is done as well. And, you know, let's see. Make moderator? Yeah, I can. Yeah, there you go. You're a moderator now, genius gamer. If you're still here, get some rest, Dylan. We need you for this game week, lols. Yeah, I, I will. Don't worry. I'm just trying to get through the comments I missed out on. Your Instagram feed is lit, my guy. You're awesome. Get well soon. Some rest. Thank you, the Joker smile. And I haven't posted in years, but I probably will be posting soon again. And there you go. That's the face reveal if you haven't seen me already. Um, maybe one day I'll be putting a camera as well, but obviously the main thing is talking about the team and all of that. Uh, good work, mate. Don't burn out. Relax a bit more, Dylan. Yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, maybe that's a, a good thing, or a good suggestion. Big chance for Shakhtar, says Harry. Yeah, I'm. I literally, I'm so far behind the chat and also, you know, everything else. Um, I'm nearly catched up or caught up. Love from Malaysia. Thank you very much. Big up Malaysia. Like I said, so many times over the years, actually. Uh, gonna watch the games now. I'm off again. Have a good one. Thank you, the Flying Dutchman, and good luck. Um, hi from Croatia. Welcome, Davo. Obviously, I remember. Our encounter in the last World Cup uh, didn't end up well for us. But yeah, obviously, Croatia, a nice country. I was thinking of going there this year, actually. A really nice country. Um, I didn't know Hallam was injured. I made him captain. Rest in peace, my UCL fantasy. There's no need to worry. You can captain someone from tomorrow's games, especially if you have Lewandowski. Greetings from Panama. Uh, thank you, Jean Luis uh, Gonzalez. Um, hopefully I said that right. But yeah, big up Panama. And uh, I think that's the first time someone has said they're from Panama watching this. Um, so yeah, really appreciate you tuning in. Um, yeah, Joker Smart says, change it now. Yeah, you can change it during the substitution window. Ever thought of going on Twitch? I have considered it, especially for gaming. And I could actually do gaming videos on this channel. But to be honest, I've already got so many videos for UCL Fantasy and FPL. Same with live streams. It's going to be difficult to fit in as well. And I'd definitely be suffering burnout from you know doing that on top. But it's something I've considered. And uh, I may do so at some point. Some people have asked for some gaming videos. Uh, I have actually got some on the channel. Uh, I meant wildcard for EPL, mate. Uh, yeah, I am considering it. Either Game Week 7 or Game Week 8. Um, I'm really gutted. I forgot about my chips. I've taken the minus 8 going into today's games. Yeah, I mean, you learn from these things. I mean, I made mistakes like that before. I once actually somehow took a minus 4 hit. I don't know how. I think there might have been a glitch or I bugged out or something, but um, something similar happened to me before. Thank you, bro. Get well soon. Thank you, Genius Gamer. These tips are really helpful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ryan. Obviously, you and everyone else who have been... Uh, commenting you're very helpful for the channel so really appreciate it can i be moderator oh uh, yeah roll yeah definitely obviously i'm not gonna make everyone moderator but you know people who are recognized from so many streams ago and videos yeah um obviously as long as you're responsible um then yeah definitely but shik does look dangerous batshuai off the post yeah everyone's saying that batshuai hit the post almost wiping mazara clean sheet not looking good so far then opinion on pavard or munier i'd rather have munier for match day two i love fantasy football I love it when it goes well. <laughs> Not so much when uh, it's going tits up, but uh, yeah, I love football and fantasy football can be really good too. Don't worry about being behind, mate. Most people end the stream as soon as the deadline passes. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Harry. You're still here. Uh, really appreciate it, mate. You could do FIFA 22. I'll be honest, FIFA, I've got a love-hate relationship with the game, but I probably will end up getting it. But um, yeah, um, I consider myself a decent player. You know, I tend to win most of my games and you know, I don't play FET too much nowadays, but I win a lot on that before pro clubs you know i, I do pretty well on that and co-op um even you know uh, normal seasons and career mode i like career mode you know just being able to change a team like that and make arsenal great again <laughs> uh you're a top fpl do keep up the great work and uh you'll go all the way fpl matt price thank you very much matthew price and uh yeah obviously really appreciate you tuning in once again hope to see you in the next fpl stream but obviously like i said no guarantees i definitely need a break after this one uh, Anthony also very close a little touch in the post damn this game looks really good I probably should uh, start watching it good luck I also make UCL fantasy content says FPL Island uh, check out FPL Island's channel and uh, I could actually do a, a shout out in my next video uh, for some of these other channels who also do UCL fantasy content obviously I'm not necessarily big myself I'm, I'm not uh, but you know any little help that I can give I, I'll be you know very happy to you know, try and, you know, do my best. Thanks, mate. Thank you, Raul. Uh, thank you for tuning in once again. I also bought Halle and went for um, Ulma over Ma oh, Mazarawi. Wait, who's Ulma? Apologies if I'm very ignorant there. Um, I've been playing fantasy football since 2004 Euros. <laughs> and nearly 
let out a non-PG word. Jesus, that's a long time ago. I mean, we're looking at, you know, a lot of these professionals or, you know, uh, experts, you know, people with a lot of experience. I've never heard of 2004. Jesus Christ. Um, don't trust too many people with mod. Yeah, no, I, I won't. But, you know, the people I've given it to so far, I do trust. Thank you very much to everyone uh, for tuning in. That is my team, as you see on screen. I did play the Limitless and uh, I'll be trying to do a team selection video for FPL very soon. Like I said, if you haven't already, smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. We've hit 6,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate it, guys. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm active on those platforms, and you can talk to me there. Send in your teams, talk about FPL, UCL Fantasy, and football. Appreciate all the support, like I said, as always. I'm going to take a break now. Like I said, my voice is completely gone. Hopefully, I'm recover soon in time for FPL and UCL Fantasy. But like I said, some of the videos from before, unfortunately, like the preview and rating your teams, I just don't think I'll be able to do them as well, as you can tell from my voice. And I'm going to be fixing my microphone as soon as this stream is over. So appreciate all the support, guys and girls, and I'll see you next time.